hope you're ready because I did put the mic on. You got hot look. mic? Hot mic. Hot, hot mic. mic. Hot, hot mic. Hottest of mics. Dare I say. Hot mic. He'll be uh, sitting in with us maybe on another podcast. Oh, hot mic. Hot uh, mic. Th- wow. Could he? <laughs> Possibly. Now, know. there are different terms of service when from when he was last year. Hot mic? Yeah, exactly. From when he was last here, he, you know, we, you know, we're live now. You can't just be, you know, you know, having the clothes off and everything. That's true. Like that. like yeah, we will have to. Hot uh, mic was here last time. Yeah, we'll none to. of this really makes any sense. <laughs> Just went with hot mic. <laughs> but the thing that does make sense is that it's Thursday evening. It is Thursday evening. How is everybody doing? It is time once again for some about beverages podcasting, some chat, some beverage chat, some uh, what else? Some uh, sports, some topical stuff, some music, some all kinds of things. Whatever and whatever game chat. Probably eventually Maybe. at some point yeah. there'll be some uh, some TFT talK that'll be uh, your new uh, show where you get some guests on I don't know if you want to have some guests on at some TFT point like talk. I can leave the room yeah. for a little bit if you want to do some TFT talk no you just join us uh, but uh, yeah you can catch us uh, if you're watching this uh, say like pre-recorded uh, you know an archive of this up on YouTube you can always check us out live most Thursday nights on twitch.tv slash about beverages. Uh, you can find us there. You want some game chat? I made it to 1324 on my lock today. Thanks to Alex. Nice, Zaku. That is some good game chat. That means we can do some Grandmasters this weekend. Maybe get one more point up. We can run those quick, speedy Grandmasters for you. That's awesome. That's good she was carrying you around that way. So we have, we're have we doing this now. This is two weeks in a row. People are going to start expecting it. We have four different four beverages things, yeah. we're having again. So yeah. you've set the bar a little high now a couple weeks in a row. Well, maybe we'll back it off to one next It'll week. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> we should no. go all the way to the other <laughs> one thing, but it's either really expensive or just really boozy. Yes, right. It's one or the right. other. Or it's just a lot of water where we just can't only drink so much. So uh, Pocket's brother just texted me right now. Okay. And he said, I left a gift on your doorstep. I heard the podcast on the disappointing stone lemon water <laughs> and it reminded me of it. I can't say it's in the same ballpark, but it's something different. I haven't tried them yet, so I don't know what to expect. So <laughs> we may already have the opener for next Okay. Week. <laughs> I like the sounds of that. That's very good. Uh, and speaking of openers, we do have uh, something here this week. Hold on. I got to find, I had to add a button. I even added a button last week. It was just kind of off the cuff uh, that, you know, we just did the fourth beverage. I had to set it all up, but this week I actually went the extra mile. We've got it all set. You've brought another cider. I did bring another. Well, because this is one I t- we talked about, because we've talked about all these ciders that we've liked, how we really liked that Imperial from last week, uh, the, the barrel-aged ones we've had, and then this one is one I've, I've tried, and it reminded me of a certain combination of items, and I haven't had <laughs> okay. it since then, so yeah. It's very light. As I started to pour until there was enough in there to actually create a color, it looked like it was clear. Like it actually took a few. I was like, I was like oh, wait, that's good. Oh, okay. There's, there's a little, <laughs> there's there's something a little yellow there. There's a little <laughs> pigment. There's a little pigment to that. It's called, uh, so Henry Hotspur's Hard Pressed for Cider. Yes. Is this a Trader Joe's exclusive? As far as I know, yes. Okay. They also have one, uh, when you sent this over, I noticed they had one that is a rosé version. Yes. Or they, yeah, is, rose. Does that mean yeah. they actually use cherries or something in it? I did not investigate it further because that's not the one we were having. And yeah, I didn't. I really haven't looked at that well, too much. Well, shit. Now I'm just going to have to look it up. Check it out. <laughs> I'm going to have to look it up. Oh, my gosh. And I, every time I read Hotspur, now I'm just thinking of the, uh, there's a soccer team, the Tottenham Hotspurs, I think is what it is, or something like that. I'm probably pronouncing that poorly. There is a Hotspurs uh, soccer team over in Europe. Uh, f- you know, football, as they say. Um, Cyrus, they are that, co- okay, so. Uh, adult beverage on the market. Rosé, the light and fruity one. Uh, also enjoy a major moment. Son, why not marry the two? Made for us by one of the longtime brewing partners. Henry Hotspurs, hard pressed for rosé ciders, a blessed union of flavors. Our brewers pressed fresh picked Pacific Northwest apples to make cider, then added yeast to kick off the fermentation process. Simultaneous process. They steep rose petals and hibiscus in hot water to brew a bright pink tea. Finally, they carbonate this tea, combine it with the turning cider. So it's literally combining two different, fully different brew processes, okay. putting them together. That's interesting. That is very interesting. This also kind of has the aroma of vinegar, like of, uh, it, it, it smells like, again, like food coloring, like I'm going to color some eggs for Easter. It's got like a little bit of that and then apples afterward. Yeah. Interesting. A pocket. Hello. Hello, pocket. How are you, pocket? <clears throat> hmm. 
Hmm. St it, hmm. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. It's just, it's literally like at first it's like just kind of plain apple juice and then it turns into carbonated vinegar something. Oh, okay. Like, or I don't know. Or, so maybe my apple juice and Budweiser was even a little too good for what? Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, <laughs> I'm just kind of getting the vinegar like then at the end, like it almost, and it's almost too kind of like not completely separate. Like we've definitely had things where we're like, oh my God, it's this thing and then it stops and right. it's this other, it's not quite that. There's a little bit of a, of, of a shading going on between the two flavors, but this one definitely kind of does. Oof. Your face says, how do I say this tastes nasty, but nicely? It doesn't taste completely nasty, but you're, you are correct. I was being slightly kind, um, but no, it doesn't taste na like it's not like the vinegar parts, right though. If someone gave this to me, it's not like I'd be like, I can't finish this or I have to like, oh, I'm sorry. This is like, I would, you know, if you were at like a party and like, oh, you should try this. Like, oh, okay. Yeah, thanks. That's good. And Thank then they you. walk away and you're like, I'll try and finish this down or you find a place <laughs> to, I don't know. It's not, I don't think it's dump worthy, but yeah, it, it's, 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 it's definitely very, uh, compared to the ciders we've had lately, including the right. shilling one that we had last week, where if you missed uh, that live show, that podcast will be up in a couple weeks or. Just watch the whole show from last week the up on YouTube. Show. The That's whole show. That's quite an investment of time. But it hey. is. Well, you can scrub. We, we scrub invest. Through. That's true. <laughs> yeah, we just like we do. We scrub. <laughs> we invested the two hours. We'll scrub right through the next <laughs> yeah, two hours. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that is. Uh, mm. Yeah, and then it's so it's those two flavors, and then now like it just it also tastes watered down then too. Yeah. Maybe that's where the Budweiser comes in. Maybe. Like I said, it just kind of tastes, it tastes thinner than it should. Because like I said, again, that shilling, the, uh, do I have the, I probably have it. Hold on. Let's find it. Last week we had the, sh oh no, did I put, wait, what's the second one we did? We did. We had the uh, shilling last week. But, uh, I think it was called the, Excelsior. it was the shilling uh, Excelsior Apple Imperial Hard Cider, which was, which was good. I yeah. liked that one. That yep. one was good. Green apple. Yeah. And tasty. I said that a few times. Apple during, and tasty. The few times during the week, I said Excelsior. Excelsior. I took the time to do that sound file, so we had to do it at least one more time. Of now. course. Um, but yeah, that's uh, no, that's that's. I think you were accurate with that. I don't. I, I like the vinegar part, though. It almost yeah, it's almost like I wonder if there are sour uh, ciders. So I don't know because this is borderline going that direction. You have to do some work to make that taste a little better, but. That would be interesting. The, like the if vinegar, you, uh, the vinegar note was good. If you really accentuated like tart apple kind of flavor, you know, yeah. Like if you really brought that out, like yeah, that yeah. might be pretty good. Excelsior. <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Tastes nasty, but nicely. <laughs> it's nicely nasty. <laughs> Your face says nasty, but how officer can I say nasty. Mm -mm. Exactly. <laughs> uh, mm. Yeah, that is. That's interesting. You brought over, luckily enough, although something that we have not had it yet, but usually always very delicious every year, uh, just showed up. In the the Waldos. The yes. Waldos from Lagunitas. They're triple IPA, do they technically call it? They call it triple highly limited series. <laughs> the highly <laughs> limited series. Yeah, it always comes out usually around 420. Right. So it's, it's out a little bit earlier this year, yeah. but yeah, it's uh, in that celebration is, of that. Uh -huh. That is always that a favorite. Day. And no longer a six pack. No, now it comes in a four pack. Comes in a four pack. But I resolved that the fact that you and I each get a, usually get a six pack. I solved that dilemma. I'm so, I'm actually a little upset that it took me as long as it did because I was like, <laughs> you're like, well, I'll take a six pack, and I was like, oh, sorry, it only comes in four packs. I'll just take a four pack. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> if I buy three fours and divide by two, I've got two six packs. You're all. Yes. I have eight, and you have four. Yeah. Wait, hold wait a on. minute. Wait a minute. Will you figure this out? <laughs> I can do this. I can. I can do this math. You it has it. gone up fifty cents. It was uh, two dollars a bottle. Now it's two fifty a bottle. But that's not one of those that you're going to drink n numerous quantities of in right. a setting, uh, or you shouldn't. And also, you want to talk about value, value, though. Yeah, that's for I mean, eleven. Still. What an eleven percent alcohol beer uh, that 11, is actually 70. delicious. Yep. On top of that. Uh, is is hard to find. It's few and far between. Let's see if they actually have the cost per ounce on that. Need, let's see. <laughs> there you can go. Wow. You should do a cost per ABV. I don't know. That might be the new formula. You want to figure that one out? <laughs> cost well, per. Oh my this gosh. This is yeah. fifty percent per alcohol per, unit. Per, per unit. Yeah. About two fifty. About two fifty. Yeah, exactly. Two fifty. Two fifty. I think I got about two fifty. <laughs> so what do you want with me, monster? What do you want with me, goddamn Loch Ness monster? <laughs> uh. Uh, let's see. Waldo's special ale. 
Special triple ale brewed for all treasure hunters. They've got all the information about it. Uh, the Waldos met one afternoon at 420. So 11, 10 point, I don't know why they have two on here. 10.8 slash 11.7. I don't know what, maybe they had two different ones. Over 100 IBUs. Wow, original, original gravity of 1.07, 1.107. Damn. That's nuts. But yeah, we'll have uh, links to all that stuff or if you guys want to check it out. Actually, oh no, I don't have a link to that one, but I do have a link to all the other beverages that we're having. Shockingly enough, I know you're surprised. There is all the things that we're having. We just had the, we actually had it second, or we actually had it first instead of second, but we had the uh, Henry Hotspur Cider. We're going to try the Thomas Hooker Brewing Company Red Ale. And then we're going to have a very interestingly named IPA later. And it's a milkshake IPA. It came up on Twitter. Uh, not this one specifically, but another one. And so that was what made me remember that I had it. Okay. But I can't beat this name. Milk, <laughs> Strawberry Milk of the Murder Hornet. And the Murder Hornet is a real thing, though. Is it? I think. Tell me about it. Isn't it the thing that's been taking over and killing all the bees? If you have Discovery Plus. Oh, okay. Then uh, I think... Which we don't have Discovery Plus, but we I've seen an ad for, and it was this Raven! very intimidating picture of this, oh, of a like a little bitty bee and this murder hornet above it. I oh think it was God. the murder hornet, right? I guess. So I'm looking at experts warn of a murder hornet resurgence. Here's how Canada is preparing. Okay, schnozberries. I have to worry about that then. At least three new specimens of the so-called murder hornet have turned up in the Pacific Northwest. Okay. They're migrating. We don't want the. Can we put it? Is there a wall we can put up for the murder hornets? <laughs> Stop the murder hornets. Stop the murder hornets with a wall. So the uh, That's Waldo how we do things. comes in at uh, uh, twenty-one cents per ounce. Okay. Where uh, the at, the Atticus Atlas triple that I liked from the parish mm -hmm. that was thirty-six. So yeah. Okay. We're at a good value here. That is yeah. That is definitely good, good value. value. Cost per ounce. Should we start using that on our podcast? <laughs> Cost per ounce? <laughs> yeah, like actually say it. Can it's this dollar, it's this, and uh, our cost per ounce. Uh, or, like, well, you start because flashing you do, a huge graphic up on the screen. We have 12 ounce cans, you have 16 ounce cans. Sometimes you're buying it maybe in yeah. a bomber or a 25, you know. I mean, I think there's relevance. We I could think start a whole new trend. Uh -uh. Although maybe it is. I don't think it's on at least like Tap and Bob or Caps and Corks. I don't think they put up something like that. So Murder hornets are allergic to ethanol. So, you know, <laughs> <laughs> we're safe. De <laughs> Debo, how's it going? Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. Debo, what's cooking tonight? Oh, yeah. Or baking or mixing. Whatever. Yeah. Anything. Oh, not have way. <laughs> what, what delicious <laughs> things are you making right now? And does it go with uh, an Irish red ale? Oh, I, d I did. I saw the gumbo. He put a recipe in there. Uh, it's in the, if you are joined oh. uh, and are part of the Discord, you can always look under the uh, Food for Thought. Debo is always uh, putting some new stuff in there. Actually, I put something in the wrong category. Wait, what did I do? Oh, I did. I put that in the wrong, oops. Put that in the wrong category. Sorry about that. I put all the beers in Food for Thought. Pay no attention to those. Um, he has a how to make chicken and sausage gumbo. Okay. That's always a, that's always a good one right there. Gumbo is just kind of one of those fun words. Yeah. Gumbo. Can I? Mumbo jumbo gumbo cancel. Can I just do this? Jumbo mumbles. <clears throat> what was I in there? Delete. Okay. We got to fix it now. Editing is happening. I'll put these somewhere else. Garbanzo. I'll put these in the yeah. right spot. Yeah. Kumquat's funny, actually. Kumquat is a good word. <laughs> Garbanzo Kumquat. bean. Kumquat. Potato. Garbanzo, that's also what? Uh, chickpea? Chickpea, yeah. Which I th it's weird that chickpea has like taken over where it's like, why would you not want to say garbanzo? I don't know. That sounds way better. Curing. The gumbo is in the is in the curing stage. The gumbo is curing. All right, get these in the right spot. Apologies for that. Sheesh. It's slowly curing it right now, and it smells like heaven. Ooh. Oh, you act. Are you actually making the gumbo, Debo? Let's so go. So for tonight. Let's go, Alex. How are you? Good to see you. How are you? How is your evening so far? Zaku was already in here earlier singing your praises that you got him up to 1324 with your amazingness. Um, 1324, you say? 1324, you say. Okay. One, one more and that man can do some other things. Oh, it's, it's well, going to be that exciting. It's Tottenham Hotspur. See, look, I knew I was right. Ta oh, Hotspur. Okay. Hotspur. Yep. Time back to the cider. Oh, sure. Now he's... Oh, I see. There must be... Oh, we'll have to talk about that later. Not could be mean to you. That's not right. That is not correct. 
How was the rest of your week? Did you do anything exciting this last week? Anything to talk about? Um, what did you do? I went to Costco on Sunday. And okay, Costco's always good. A... Well, you know what? Most people are being good. But you still have people that want to show you their nose. And in the case of one guy who was probably about 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, he just thought, oh, I'll wear my mask right about here. Well, everyone's shorter than he is anyway, so it's like you're breathing different air. So oh, yeah. it's so funny. You guys always notice that. And like, we only go to Costco like maybe once a month. Like, we go in and grab stuff. I like literally never see anyone like that. Wow. And I'm, I'm looking like, especially after the last time when it had come up at a family conversation, right. I was like, "Wow, really?" That and I'm like, I'm like yeah. looking, like, yeah, maybe a nose or two. Like yeah. that one. Like I now I'm just like, what an idiot. Like you yeah. can't like literally go like this. But definitely nothing like under the chin. Like yeah, that guy. That was a sort of a. That was the exception. He. We didn't see any others like that, but. Still, it's just like, come on. And now I did, did, did our governor rescind the, our governor is a fool. I tweeted so, about it. Yeah. No, not surprising. So that our I already, already had people like someone come up today and say, you know, you can't force people to wear masks anymore. And it's like, yeah, because you, and we're, and the guy was wearing a mask. I think he was just like, but it's like, well, we can still let people know that it's our policy to, that we only let one maskless person in the store at a time. That's oh, is that foundation. what you do? Yeah. Oh. We have a special cart with a little flag. Do you? Yes, that says mask accommodation <laughs> approved. I love that. Uh, That's almost literally like saying like, I'm an asshole. <laughs> well, or it. or what? No, and there are some people. There are like because there are. That's what I would think. There are legitimate Trader Joe's does people. not to say that. I'm saying that, yeah. and that's right. how I would view it if right. I worked at Trader Joe's. And, and there like, are some. Ah, I'm there have been a few people person. who are who have who have decided to start wearing the mask because they're like, yeah, I don't want that. But then there's some people who are like, oh, can I have the card, please? And I'm like, okay. So anyway, and you should helps. have some acronym on there that if you read it the right way, it says like dipshit or something like that. I don't know. No. Like, could you most that people, out? most people are great, but you do have people that, you know what? It's oh, just fatigue. Course. There's a lot of, there's a lot of fatigue going on out there, but uh, you still have people. Someone just like walked right into the store today. And one of the, the girl at the door was like, sir, we have a line to it. And he was like, I don't care. And he just walked right in. And so anyway, it's like. Yeah. So I, there's mass fatigue. Then you have this, oh, we wouldn't have to do this anymore, but it's still the right thing to do until we get to a certain point, which we're getting closer with all of these shots happening now, all the flurry of appointments that are happening. You get a free flex right here. Oh, so I, a shot. So well, I, I won't go too high because you can see some pasty skin there. <laughs> uh, but right in this area, I'm tender. <laughs> I'm sore. I'm a little sore. <laughs> and you got the shot in the other arm. I did. That's what's weird. Well, Rachel hit me in this one. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> My wife said, you're getting that shot. Uh, no, it's uh, it's fine. <laughs> No, I actually feel good. Did it. Got it yesterday. Like I said, thank you to my uh, wonderful niece for doing some fast uh, finger tapping on the screen. Was able to get everyone, uh, at least in our family. An she was really working it. She was. She worked for many members of the family. We were able to get appointments. So I, like I said, thank her so much. So happy you're getting yours tomorrow. That's what you tweeted. That's awesome. Wait, what time are you doing that? Because we're supposed to play Destiny tomorrow. When is that happening? How can you be jumping off a map in Destiny when you're getting your appointment? Oh, okay, never mind then. We got plenty of time. <laughs> Notice where my concerns went to. Um, yeah, you may have to reschedule that shot. Yeah, you may have to reschedule that shot. Yeah. We've got we've got Destiny things to do. No, I would never say that. I am so glad everyone that is getting shot. Like I said, like it's fantastic. Like that's what needs to happen. Yep. Uh, like I said, you know, uh, we're in Southern Arizona, and Arizona, like I said, our governor is a fool, uh, and he is deciding to bring back a mandate. It's like I, I think I saw uh, the uh, was it the was it the, was it the mayor of Phoenix. It was, it was, it was great. Like she had this whole paragraph in the basically the end was she's like, that's like literally uh, spiking the football on the five yard line. That's kind of like where we are. And it yeah. was a perfect analogy because it's, yeah. we're right at that point where if you could do this in two or three months, super happy, intelligent team, about beverage, but the shorthand version. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like so you're right. You're right at the end. You're literally right on the cusp. You just, you know, I, I think they went too fast with how they drove everyone down because everyone's having a fight to get these appointments, but it's like, whatever it's, you know, it eventually would work itself out. Yep. Um, but the fact then that, like, just because you got, like, just because I have my shot, I'm not vaccinated yet. Right. I've gotten my first shot. Right. After my second one, I'm still not, full, right. two weeks after that, then, like, so basically beginning of May is the way I'm looking at, like, as of May 1st, I will be as, you know, protected as I can be, uh, you know, and obviously we'd still all being safe. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I would think it would still be that people are going to be, 
you know, wearing masks at that point. Cause yeah. it's not like you can walk into a lot of stores and I mean, although now with what's going on, who knows where that'll be, but yeah. I'll still probably be wearing a mask when I go out. Like, you know, I'm about the healthiest I've ever been and I'm a pretty healthy person. And it's like, that's probably part of the reason. It's like no one's breathing everything on me. That we, yeah. yeah. Everything no. that we've done. And you're literally just throwing a lot of that in the dumpster. Yeah. And it's, you know, cause we're not, we're barely at, I saw the stats. You want to get, you know, that 70 to 80% you know, immunized so that you're at that herd immunity, as they call right. it, where then everybody, for the most part, would be, you know, okay, or everyone's, you know, fairly safe. Yeah. We're at 20%. We're at 20% fully vaccinated. Like, it's just so frustrating. Like, I, just right there. And then, like I said, and then he's, you know, there's a lot of other politics of his stuff involved, too. So, uh, that, that'll be found on our About Beverages Politics podcast. That comes up later. <laughs> you, you do that one with uh, our other brother, though. I do. Yeah, exactly. The, the political side. You yeah, do. exactly. I do that with, uh, yeah, my other brother and both my nieces, we get together. It's a, it's a four. It's, I get out the other two mics that I do have in there. And we, about <laughs> politics. About politics. Uh, all right. I'm halfway done. Sorry. Uploading, uh, some of these graphics again, putting them in the right spot. Cause I had taken over, uh, Debo's directory on, unnaturally there yeah the, the uh, someone who wants to be a guest on the podcast I can i be on that podcast of course when you get the other starter while you're yes working that would be great right. that would be awesome that would be fantastic Man. yeah definitely are you going to want to throw in uh, some of your views uh, about the uh, when people can vote and when they can't zaku is that what you're planning on doing or what's going on there <laughs> oh i didn't put the oh no i did put the picture okay <laughs> <laughs> love you buddy <laughs> but you have to wear short that's true actually well my brother though not wearing short. so it's funny so i put up the video of our one from last week and then i'd forgot i'd well i'd left it in because it was like whatever it's so ridiculous to do my views are my own you don't have to share them that and that's what we want that's good for discussion that's always good for discussion i agree i appreciate having those conversations no matter how crazy you or i seem to each other uh, I appreciate having those conversations with you, except for when you start yelling at me, because I feel that's highly unnecessary, because I try and have nice conversations. Um, is that gone? That's there. Did I put the picture? Okay, we got it. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, but yeah, so I put up the video last week uh, of our entire show, and we had to do the same thing, where someone got up, uh, like I said, obviously Keith got up last week to get the, actually he had to move a car, uh, which I think I wound up leaving all that in too, but anyway, he had to get up, and then I got up and got stuff. So if you actually scroll, like if you go to uh, and subscribe or you, you don't have to subscribe, but if you look at our videos up on, uh, on YouTube and you move the mouse over the YouTube, uh, thing, it like starts like rotating through the footage really quick. The very first thing you see is Keith just like getting up and standing and kind of butt to the camera. <laughs> <It's> like, yeah, <laughs> that's what it, I'll show you. So this is like, yeah, if you go to YouTube and if you go to, I noticed this, I'm after I had uploaded it. And for some of you, this definitely will probably be a benefit. We might get some more views out of this one. I'm appreciative of. Um, so yeah, if you go here, so here's the, so this is the one, see? Oh, geez. <laughs> the first thing when you scroll up. <laughs> so <you can> Great. <laughs> I don't know There's why no you, way to change that. I, no, I don't think so. I don't even know that it did that. Like, you know, like if you go here, it shows, it must be like it waits 30 seconds and then it takes like sped up version of the next whatever of footage, but that was farther in. But yeah, it's, I thought so. Yeah. So like the one something. today is like, you know, it's got the podcast graphic up here. It's like the Twitter thing. This one's just, you know, us talking, being animated, like whatever. For some reason, this one is <laughs> me getting up. <laughs> getting up. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Uh, stores should really have a fast pass for those kinds of people, but instead of getting in the store faster, it's a reverse fast pass to the end of the line whenever they complain or whine. <laughs> Debo, this is not a bad idea. I like this. I do like this idea quite a bit. All right, we are done with the cider. Let's go ahead and uh, I got to go here. Got to hit that button. Got to move there. Go back here. What do we got here? Speaking of masks, look how this all ties together. I know. Keith, look at you're that. A genius. You're a the literal Irish. genius. Literal genius right here. Hooker. Thomas Hooker Brewery Irish Red Ale. I've never heard of this. You said, did someone give this to you? Yes. Uh, this, so this is... They forced uh, it upon you. Did they have a the mask on? From the East Coast? Of course he did. Thank God. Yes. <laughs> I love that idea. That would be funny. <laughs> so uh, a friend of the show, Todd. Uh, okay. Very, uh, he's sourced some things we podcasted on. He's uh, suggested different things. He's, he's a British man, right? He definitely is that. Um, his, uh, his dad actually, uh, lives, uh, uh, back East. 
Oh. That's where he's originally from, the East Coast. And he'll send him a little care package every once in a while, and he'll throw some throw some beverages in it. And, oh, uh, nice. This is, uh, he threw at least two of these in because he drank one, and he brought this in to me the other day. So uh, overall, not the kind of beer he usually drinks, but... Uh, not he, what we would usually drink. Not what we would usually drink either. But he, you know, so yeah, so he threw it in. It is the seasonal from uh, Hooker Brewery, and uh, it's their Irish Red Ale. So yeah, he brought it in. I was like, I, when he brought it in yesterday, I thanked him and said, you know what? Maybe we'll open the show with that tomorrow. And my God, it's happening! Damn right we are. It's so happening. It is a, obviously, it is a Red Ale, five and a half percent ABV. It is a seasonal beer, February first through March thirty first. So actually, fairly timely. Yeah, you know, like I said, I know it's yep. toward the end, but that's still pretty good. Like I said, in a beer like this, it doesn't really talk too much. Uh, IBU wise hops in it. We got East Kent Goldings. We got some Fuggles. I said Fuggles. Or maybe they it's did that song, the video killed the radio star. Right? Oh, that was the Buckles. That was the Buckles. Oh, okay, sorry. No, that was the Bangles. Wait, wait. That's walks like an Egyptian. Oh. <laughs> wait, that's that Jim Henson thing. Oh wait, that's Fraggle Rock. <laughs> Fuggles. <laughs> Fuggles. Fuggles. That's if you're kind of not very attractive, but you actually would still have sex with them. That's, oh, wait, that's fugly. That's fugly. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Fuggle. Why did they name this hop this? <laughs> Maybe it is Fugles. Oh, wait, wasn't that a band that did, uh, oh, that's Fuji's. Sorry. Man, okay. <laughs> it, this is a weird sort of six degrees of separation. I'm enjoying this a lot, that. though. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking about that. Remember how we used to play that? that six degrees that, of Kevin Bacon? That, yeah, when that was popular, what, late 90s? Mm -hmm. uh, Adam and... Uh, you and I and whoever probably Rich was in the band. Oh, I'm oh sure, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> you guys are on a roll. We are right now. It's, uh, I'm glad I like, follow, and subscribe. You have the script written loud, reading uh, big enough there. It's like, no, I'm just kidding. This <laughs> yeah. is unscripted. Yeah. It's good. I actually like that. Yeah, it's got. It does have a little. There's like a little just uh, bitter from the hop, but there's, mm -hmm. it's nice, some nice and malty, and yet not overly so, not overly sweet. There's a little, but within that, there's almost like, a, it's almost like a candy apple or something like that, because it's got the sweet, and there's a little tart Maybe something, your glass like out. a red apple. Oh, no, I did, though. I rinsed it and dried it. No, I'm getting like, like it's definitely more of like red apple kind of thing. Like, uh, not, yeah. It, that's, that's not bad. Yeah, that, that's... I've never been a huge fan of candy apples. Really, that no, seems caramel like a, apples. Yeah. Yeah, candy, candy apples. apples definitely. Yeah. Caramel apples still too. Like sometimes it's like, a, yeah, it's a you really got to get in there. Got Yeah, you yeah. got you got to want it. It's, it's a, like it's a healthy tooth young man's food, or <laughs> young a, woman's uh, snack. <laughs> it's a healthy you get in there, you tooth go, young man's food. Yeah, you could lose you, you could lose a tooth to the caramel. <laughs> Unless you well now I think one like because Pocket's a big fan of them. You take the, the stick off and you cut it. Oh yeah, that would work perfectly. You have to do that. Yeah, that's, that's the smart way that's to do it. Right way to do it. You eat your candy bar with a knife and fork. Yeah. How do you eat it? <laughs> that's actually the, yeah, that's the smart play right there is definitely. Yeah. If you're not like at a fairgrounds or something like that and you can actually sit down and enjoy your apple delicacy. Um, Cause I'd always eat, uh, I don't, the thing that you always eat all the goodness on the outside off. Yeah. And then you're just left with an apple on a stick. Yeah. That's like, even probably that? makes that work even better then too. Cause you get like a full slice of yeah. every bit. You get yeah. some apple and everybody. Yeah. That's actually, that's, that's, that's smart thinking, right? That's someone who's had a candy apple or two in her day <laughs> or a caramel apple. That too. Oh, yeah, there's always good. those really decadent ones. There used to be a place in the mall that made the ones that was like, oh, or like actually when you go to Disneyland and stuff too, where it's like, it's like the caramel apple, but then it's like covered in like this candy and it looks like a uh, Mickey Mouse. It's got cookie pieces on it. It's like, oh my God, this isn't even an apple anymore. What have you constructed? I think this was canned on 2821. That's pretty fresh. Okay. That's well, fresher than that's, the... uh, it was a week after they said it would be available. Yeah. They started canning. It was, uh, yeah, that's fresher than the, uh, IPA that was delivered to us yesterday as a seasonal. But yeah, that happens. Modern times sometimes. Yeah. I do also, like I said, yeah, it's like, I wonder if this was, it's kind of funny that new this year they've got the mask on. There. I, yeah, I wonder if that was, it's, it is so weird to think about how, not, you know, it was like, wow, this has been going on for three months. It's been going on for half a year. Wow, this has been going on for almost a year. And now it's like, it has been a year. It's over a year. All of this, this stuff and what yeah. we've been going through so anyway but apparently but, it's all over says our oh wait no, we'll get back to that again. yeah <laughs> no we, we we visited that it's all right. fine <laughs> that's right uh, we'll get there fortunately there are enough sane <laughs> that was what i said to my people, wife today like because we were talking about it nice was, people and yeah people. there's enough un unfortunately there's enough of us that are sane and nice that we have to compensate for the others out there i realized too um, the good thing about like our signage at the store mm-hmm 
doesn't re- and I and I don't know if they did this on purpose seeing into the future when this could happen or if it's just what but our signage doesn't reference mandates or anything like that it says this is out what we require which is great because mm-hmm. that we this is what this is how we're still doing this is how we're choosing to keep our employees and our customers safe and you know so anyway i thought that was a, a good, a good I just understand, actually wonder the legality uh like i said getting into more like generality of that but the legality of you know you can do the no shirt no shoes no service why right can, why can't you just say that and why can't that be enforced right you know I, I find that interesting because they, yeah. you know, because obviously that that a lot of that stuff is now being struck down because of going. Like I said, speaking of just Arizona, right? Uh, because of this, and it just happened today as we're recording this uh, that that occurred. Because I actually had gone out to the store in the morning, and obviously there's still signs up everywhere, you know, mandated to have the mat, which you know I would have anyway. Um, but that was all going on. But yeah, that's going to be interesting to see going forward. Uh, more and more people like just you know being vigilantes for the wrong thing. Uh, they're, they're the anti-Batmans. I don't know what those are. Are the Jokers? The Joker, the anti-Batman? How's that anti-vigilante. The anti-vigilante. The anti-vigilante. The you're anti-vigilante. Just, you're just lanty. Oh, my lanty. <laughs> you're just, you're just lanty. <laughs> you're just lanty. <laughs> um, but yeah, I was, you know, kind of walking around today and just, you know, I was thinking about that and then coming home and seeing, I was like, oh my God. Ugh. Ah, ah. Let's talk about fun Anti-Batman. Things. Do you mean Deadshot? Okay. Comic book, comic book guy up in here. I like it. That would probably work. That would make sense. Since he murders everyone, <laughs> that would make sense. Hmm. Let's see what, you know, actually I was surprised as Henry Hotspurs is actually on, uh, untapped. Untapped gets a 3.35. Whoa. We like to say about this one. Cause we need to move that score down a little bit. <laughs> two and a half. Like it's not like to me, it's like if you're getting down to like two or one, it has to be like, Oh, there's something like, like it's not, there's nothing off in it. It's just boring. You want to go even lower? Is that the look you're giving me? You thinking too? If you, if, if you have your ways that you fill this, but I mean, I don't, I just don't get I don't like yeah, it. I no, don't, don't type that. Okay. <laughs> I just don't like it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know, so it's vinegar. So is it basically apple cider vinegar? Is that what we're saying we taste? That's kind of what I'm getting. Yeah. Whoops. No off flavors. The flavor it's just off. No, yeah. <laughs> Checking you in. Yeah, I, that one's not good. Like people should not be drinking that. There are too many other things at that. I, I, you know, I forgot to ask. What was the price point on that one? Is that like buck six bucks? Six bucks for six. Yeah. Also a buck a piece. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. So what's the uh, Laplaya? It? It's wait, the Laplaya no, of ciders. Wait, maybe it is six ninety nine now. Or maybe it's the rosé. The rosé one is six nine six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. When it I had that article, seven ninety nine, but it's not that. Okay, uh, it might, might might be other places, but yeah, so it's five ninety nine or six ninety nine. Okay, <clears throat> so a buck, buck and a quarter a piece. Yeah, and the shilling was two fifty two. The shilling was actually a little more expensive than I thought. It was. Okay. I think I said it was maybe eleven ninety nine, and it's actually twelve something or thirteen. So a little bit more than that. Trying to stay up here on untapped. If you guys use the service, it's uh, it's pretty nice. This is, uh, I saw some people like, I sounds like untapped, I guess maybe has a little bit of a reputation of maybe they, I don't know if they, I don't know, you know, people on Twitter, they like to exaggerate things as I do as well sometimes. Uh, but, uh, there was something on there. Like I saw someone put a thing about it and they're like, I don't know if they, they must charge for business licenses for this. And then it's like their money making thing is trying to force people because they have so many people that use this service, like, you know, uh, like, you know, tap and bottle and all the other kind of brew, like to use it so that they get these badges and get, you know, they're trying to get people into this ecosystem. And I don't know if they do it in like some, in a, a nefarious way, but it's, this person seemed to not like it. I don't know if he used to work for that. I don't know. Anyway. Okay. And I basically 
replied to them and I was like, well, yeah, I don't really use it for any of it. You know, cause he was talking about people go in and they don't just, you know, buy and taste and listen and talk to the people that are there. They just look at this app and go like, nope, 3.2 and don't get like, he was kind of upset. Oh, there was yeah, kind of that okay. kind of thing. And I said, I said, and I responded back saying, I said, yeah, I said, there's some of that. I said, but for the most part, I like using it cause I use it as a catalog of everything that I've had so that right. I can go back and look and what did I think of it? <clears throat> and he was like, yeah, he's like, that's what it was originally for. And that's what it's still, you know, right. still great for. So that's why I'm trying to stay up on a lot of these different 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 things like I said I'm sure there is I mean there's many of the beers that I have done uh well because there's rate beer and beer advocate I've used those those at like rate. back in the day like at you know total wine just to what are other people saying oh god the overall people yeah. are saying this is a three right now you know I don't when you I would just maybe use it as a piece of the information yeah so exactly make a decision but not the that the well, I guess in some cases it would be the deciding factor. If I was like borderline, I might go. If I was oh, borderline you know. between two things, I would see what was rated yeah. a little higher yeah. overall. And like, you know, usually, and depending on t- what's nice about it, it's, it's kind of like uh, on Twitter, it's a lot of it is based on then who you follow. Like, because if you right. look up a beer and people that you're either friends with through the app or have followed, it'll show you that they've either had it or reviewed it. And then you can look at those people that you trust, whether it's like I said, personal friends or other people that you followed in the industry. That's interesting to see. That actually, right. to me, is a valuable thing. Yeah. Um, I want to say dead shot because Red Hood it was just a rogue who eventually realigned himself to good. So you know way more about all of that than I do. If it's not Batman or Superman, the Joker, I think that's it when it comes to DC. No, if you know, I'm just kidding. Uh, the Flash, maybe something like that. I don't know. Did you really? You used to read some comic books, a little Marvel action, maybe. Long time ago. I had some comic books. The yeah. Shadow, is that DC? Is that, Shadow knows? Is he considered DC? The Incredible or the Fantastic Four. Okay, that's Marvel. And a couple of those. Right. Uh, and yeah, definitely there was a Batman in there. I can't remember what else is in the there. The Batman. But... Yeah, a lot of the Batman villain stuff. Like I know like a lot of those. But yeah, Deadshot. Like that's, some of that stuff all of a sudden turned either newer or I just missed out on it. Like I had a very small window where I read... Uh, comic, like not that I'm against them. It was just where I read comic books and then it, it faded for me, a little, I think, a little quicker than some people. Um, what do you think rating wise for this Thomas Hooker Brewery Irish Red Ale? Three seven five four. Yeah, that's I think three seven five is fair. Yeah. And then what did what did you write for? I didn't write anything. Well, uh, caramel is probably not right. A little malt. I think your apple call is good. I'm, it's not overly sweet, which I'm glad about. Because sometimes that can be a little too heavy. It's a, it's a more drinkable Irish red, I guess, as opposed to some of some of yeah. them can be a little heavier because of the malt. <clears throat> and you said nice bitterness on the finish too, right? Yeah, yeah, it was a nice little bitter. Kind of balance that out and not overly sweet. <clears throat> not too sweet like the uh, podcasters right here. Not too <laughs> uh, light fruit and malt on the nose. Taste is smooth. Caramel, malt, <clears throat> and apple. It is on the finish. Good balance. Not too sweet. Boom. Look at that. Checking Level 38, middle of the road. Pete, he oh, nice for nickels. Pete. You got some customers. Look at that. Thank you, Raven. That's Raven, always re- a good one. Redeeming some handsome Pete sure as pockets you can happy as well. out there. We're happy mm-hmm. here. Handsome Pete just just pop up out of nowhere. That's correct. That's a good thing. Yeah, there are, like you have noticed, there are a few new channel point things that you guys may delve into. Some of them are a little more expensive. We'll have some cheaper ones uh, pretty soon. Uh, and someday, Keith will flex. It'll happen someday. <laughs> Some, yeah, some that's a ten thousand. That's a lot for Handsome Pete. Do you, do you think it should be lower? It could be. Yeah. We could lower it a little bit. I, I don't do know. Those. How, I mean, how many? I don't know. What's the average? Uh, I don't know. Wallet. Uh, some are pretty up there. Like I know, treasure chest. I know devoted people like uh, <laughs> Backyard and Zaku and stuff that have been around for a long time. Like they're like Zaku is definitely he's saving up for some flex. And I think he's you. Zaku, will you reveal how many points you have? Aren't you? So like, I just don't know because maybe you know maybe someone would like to throw in Pete a couple of times. Six hundred k, and uh, you know, and then ten thousand might be a lot. <laughs> oh my god! 
<laughs> Damn, I knew backyard was around like three or four hundred thousand. But oh my god, six hundred k. God, <laughs> holy moly. <laughs> oh man. Um. Uh, yeah. Where is that? It's under viewer rewards, channel points. <laughs> Lurk, you do, and I appreciate. I love. I love our lurkers. I love subscribers. I love followers. I love everybody out there. Every every little bit counts. We appreciate it so much. Holy yeast and hops, Batman. Batman. <laughs> and yeah, new shirt idea. Uh, customized point display. Manage rewards and challenges. Here we go. Okay. Uh, so we'll take some... Uh, we'll lower Pete a little bit. Paco says you should get three for 10,000. I don't know. Could you buy three? And the you... amount should buy three pizza. The What? Wow. Uh, I don't, like I said, I don't know. I have no idea what to base this Where's on. The amount? I mean, it's, yeah, it's like, you know, you're trying to figure out how much people have. Awesome. All right, we'll move it down to five. Drop it down. Okay. Okay. Dun, 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 dun. Holy. Then I have that, and that one. Okay. Make this one a little lower too. This is good. We're listening to feedback. We are. We're adjusting on, on the fly. Things. Move this one down. Now. Someone actually redeemed this one the other day while I was playing. Oh, I it saw it. it up in the thing. Yeah, all of a sudden it popped up. I was like, it was shocking too. Cause I, I like, they don't, and it, it's good too. They don't get like used all the time. It's kind of the right amount. Like it's so it's shocking when it actually happens. We also like, Oh God, what button did I hit? Like, <laughs> and for me, it's like, I think something's gone wrong. <laughs> and so it's, it's kind of hilarious in that, in that regard. Hello. Hello. Uh, all right, go back to the regular schedule programming for that. But yeah, so as we talked about earlier, I did. I was lucky enough, uh, like I said, got first shot yesterday. I get the next shot uh, in about three weeks. And then a couple weeks after that, I will finally be able to just uh, go around just kissing everybody willy-nilly as I please. <laughs> that is kind of the plan. If it's five now, then Raven gets to choose another time he plays. Yes, that would be totally fine. If she can just let me know. Sure. It. And she can let me know when she wants it again, and I will redeem it again. And she can have it for free. Because we can play it. You can play whatever we want. I can. I can. Yeah, I can go in and redeem. Because we have infinite points, so I can actually redeem. The only thing that happens to me is stuff is on a cooldown timer. Um, but like, like if I click, actually, this one, I have a pretty low timer. So there's still three more minutes. You can't hear it for three more oh, minutes. Oh, okay, because otherwise people could just hands up. Yeah, beat, you don't, beat, exactly, beat. if people went a little okay. bit crazy. But like, you know, I can go to this one right here, and I can hit redeem. Hello. 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 I can do that one. <laughs> Hello. So that one's always there. <laughs> uh, there's that there's that uh, but yeah like I said that's kind of the only interesting thing this last week at least for me that no, was kind of exciting that's good of, news yeah yeah it was I'm very happy like I said if you've got opportunities to get one you should get one that is that is the way to go it's uh, like I said I so far like so you haven't gotten your second <laughs> one yet correct you know what doesn't have a cool down timer that handsomeness in this podcast Whoa. Debo you are too kind wow you are too Man. kind. You're not wrong, but you're too kind. No, <laughs> you're too kind, sir. Thank you very much. My uh, my second shot is a week from Saturday, so okay, day before Easter. All right, day yes. before Easter. Okay, so that's coming up. That'll be that'll be nice. Yep. It'll be all good. But yeah, it's it's where I definitely have a couple times where you know I'm talking about people just you know walking into a store. All of a sudden, it is. I I have not gotten into a store. I have definitely made it several steps from my car and all of a sudden be like, Oh God, I forgot. Like, yeah. you know, it, for the most part, I put it on before I even get out. Usually yeah. that's just been my routine, yep. but you know, you're talking, like I said, you know, if you're with somebody else or whatever, and you're just thinking else. And I've definitely taken a few steps. I was like, wait, what? Oh God, something's I, wrong. My mask. You know, what ha has happened actually what's getting closer and I don't have a ton of details yet. So I have some pockets website is very close. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. To being, to being live. Actually, it is live, but it's not quite ready yet. But you okay. can go to the, the, the link. You yeah. Can, you can go to the website and it's there now. Oh, but, nice. So, yeah. So, um, so there's, yeah, fun things on the horizon with that as well. So some fun pockets. Soon, yeah. The, the, the pocket of positive, the pop challenges and the pop stories and the, the quotes, all that stuff will be, will be active and ready to go very soon. Very so, cool. Yeah. So that's good. Oh, and did you get, did she send you the picture of the, you're one of the greatest players? She did. Okay, yeah. Like I said, yeah. Pocket actually sent me a picture of it. Cause we were talking, was it last week? Or last the week, week before? Yeah. yeah we yeah. were talking about, uh, it doesn't have the links and substance yet. Yeah. So it's just a blank screen. It just says, no, the pause. stuff's there. The stuff's oh, there. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. It sounds like there's nothing there. Uh, 
yeah, she was kind enough to send me a picture of her screen uh, when she's playing Candy Crush because we were talking about how it's like she's either at the end or near the end. It's like right. literally she, there is no, no other level. She has yep. to literally wait on the developers to make new levels because yes. she has beaten everything and put thousands of dollars into it though, correct? <laughs> no, she's no. put nary a penny, which they hate. They hate so much. <laughs> They're like we're making levels for this woman who will not even give us a dime. <laughs> but some, she's giving you a lot of time. You would think, you would think though, like, uh, at some point, like, you know, would you like, be like, I should give him like five bucks or something. Like, I don't know. Can you get like anything at this point? Cause like right now you don't need to buy anything. Do they have like a, maybe a shirt? They should send you a shirt. They should, right, to be honest, right. they should send you something. Uh, it should just say, just say, thank you for continuing to push our developers. Cause if not, there'd be no one else here at the end of this road. There's like one guy that's like, well, I guess they don't need me. What? Oh, yeah, she made it to the last one. <laughs> the good guy gets to come back in and create a new level. A couple weeks later, he's like, well, they don't need me anymore. And he's about to walk out the door. And <laughs> Now he has a reason to Dave, live. Wait, come back. Smith, come back. What? What do you need? Come back. She beat your level. <laughs> All right. And he sits back down again. <laughs> Just goes at it. I'll go back at it. I can do it. I'll do it. I'll find it. I'll finally get one. I'm sure Candy Crush and Riot play, uh, hate players like me. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, yeah, Riot too. Riot Games as well. It's true. I forget who it's. Uh, uh, my son was talking about today because it's whoever makes Candy Crush just made some other game that he's now started playing. I think it's like Crash Bandicoot something or other, some sort of mobile game. Oh, I think I think she may have gotten ads for that. Had okay. Been popping up. Yeah, yeah, he had been excited for it. He said it was actually pretty good, but he'd been excited for it. He's like, oh, yeah, it just came out yesterday because I had... I don't know if you actually had to pay for it. You just pre pre ordered whatever, like little, you know, probably a couple bucks or whatever. Um, and had that. And he was like, Yeah, it's by the people that make Candy Crush. So, which is, was it like King Games? King's Game? I forget who it is. But yeah, like I said, yeah, I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure Riot is probably doing okay. <laughs> I'm sure. I think they probably have enough money. They can, they can deal with a few people that are just, that's the thing too. Then it's like a dollar value of like, well, this person, they may not be giving us any money, but they're a wonderful ambassador toward the game. Right. They mention it. They talk about it. They get people maybe back into it that have either left or maybe come back to it or, right. or what have you. Um, so there's, there's always that that kind of plays into it. Well, should we murder some hornets? We're going to do the wine or the beer first. Oh shoot. I don't know. What do you think? This is a, uh, what is it? It's a milk. It's a milkshake IPA. Milkshake it's got strawberries IPA. in it. And lactose and vanilla. I almost think we should do the wine first. Sure. We'll Unless do that, that throws things off. No, you just have to, we'll just have to, I'll probably make sure before we start that I'm on, because it'd be the different order of the podcast. Oh, okay. So I'll just have to remember to be on podcast number three, not the other ones. But yeah, no, we can do that. All right. If the wine is the one, we'll do the wine then. I think we should. Um, so uh, yeah, we just the teased, milkshake IPA. We just teased you with the milkshake IPA, but we're gonna do that one last because it sounds like yeah. it's gonna be very flavorful. Yeah. Did you? I heard. I started. Uh, I went for a walk the other day, and what? I had I had wait wait don't tell me on. Oh nice. Which I haven't listened to in a long time, but I lo- I always loved that. Oh yeah. And one of the things that they had they played this game where each of the panelists tells a story. Oh yeah, and you have to and guess you have which to story guess is just the true story. Yeah. And I actually guessed the one that was, it. and it was a, t- it was talk of um, a brewery, I think in Oregon that made like a sour cheesecake, something, something, and it was exploding. And so they had to take them off the shelves uh, and it was, uh, and so yeah, and obviously they, they embellished the story a little bit. Do you have to uh, pick the one that's fine. true or pick the, I always forget. Pick, pick the one that's true. Okay. So it's an actual story. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. But it was, but I was like, I bet that's what happened. And it was nice. <laughs> and we actually, you remember the, uh, the, uh, orange dream one that I brought over the orange Julius, uh, neonic. uh from Firestone. Uh, no, no. the, uh, one from, uh, the shop, the neonic, but we opened the oh, show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had to actually, we haven't had it happen at our store, but I guess there have been cases of those ex- or, uh, where those have exploded. On oh my shelves. gosh. So we actually had to pull ours off the shelves and they, they send it, we sent it back to the the uh, vendor oh wow but it hadn't happened with us but oh that's good it was, it was starting to happen so this in line all of a sudden it's a top just yeah. goes <laughs> flying around. just like a geyser like a huge fountain a geyser a geyser a geyser, <laughs> a geyser. oh man like all a right. phoenix rising from arizona <laughs> yeah like a phoenix rising from arizona all right well we're gonna go grab this uh new zealand sauvignon blanc yes and uh mm-hmm. we'll Take have a, a good we won't talk about it right now because we've got a good story mm-hmm. about it we'll talk about oh, it yeah. in the podcast how it was how it was discovered by this man right here. Why well, it piqued his interest. Okay. 
Yeah, there's wow. a couple of layers there. No, no, no. It, that's, that's not the only thing that did that. Okay. This All right. just added another layer. Well, we have there four, was more depth. We have four sh- oh, there this is what we call a tease, right? It is a tease. Oh, tease. All right. We'll be right back. We are back. Right as this song is about to end. Perfect. Perfect we... timing. Excellent. I even stopped it just in time. I almost let it go. I didn't. So this wine is uh, pretty new. It's uh, <laughs> very fresh. It's very fresh. It's uh, from 2020. It reminded you of a quote. 2020. Boom. Yeah. Well, roughly because I don't remember it exactly, but bring me some fresh wine. Monsieur care for another bottle of the Chateau Latou. Ah, uh, yes, but no more 1966. Let's splurge. Bring us some fresh wine. The freshest you've got this year. No more of this old stuff. <laughs> could, could our listeners hear that? They could hear it, yeah. Okay, could, good. Yeah. good. <laughs> no, it was only us listening to it. Yes, they I, could hear well, it. Well, I just want to make sure that it was loud enough. If, if you well, it may not that, have been loud enough. We can play it again because it's very good. It's from The Jerk. <laughs> that is a yes, classic. Yes, we'll have another one, but, but no, more, no more of this old stuff. Let's splurge. Let's for another bottle of the Chateau Latou. Uh, yes, but no more 1966. Let's splurge. Bring us some fresh wine. The freshest you've got this year. No more of this old stuff. <laughs> but that so 1960s this movie was made in 78 i think 79 so that's what it's weird to think that's only a 12 or 13 year old bottle then now yeah, that bottle's that's, that bottle's 54 years yeah well, that's, 55 years old yeah that's true <laughs> that's very true but still yeah no that's uh, still funny no more of this let's splurge <laughs> yeah bring me some fresh wine well we have brought some fresh wine. To the <laughs> yeah, we have brought it's not some from fresh. this year, but yeah. that would be pretty tricky to do. I mean, in general, you're not aging a Sauvignon Blanc, right? No, like, no for one the does mo- that. No, not, n- not, no, I don't think so. I mean, aging in general is for Pinots, Chardonnays. No. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, like a Pinot Gris, that's what I meant. Like the, I mean the Nouveau, Pinot. the Beaujolais Nouveaus. <laughs> you you want to you wanna <laughs> yeah. age those. Um, Your calves, yeah. the 55 Chateau Blanc. Good Lord. <laughs> I'll have the 55 Chateau Blanket Fort. Uh, it is over a rocking chair of a it's unused. I don't know. That's all I got. 
But no, you usually don't uh, have to. I mean, these things are fine. They can, you know, uh, uh, under proper temperature storage, stay around for a while. But there's really nothing else is going to happen to them, especially with, you know, this kind of a closure on it. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. It's going to stay as it is, which is, which is a good thing. Did I wind up sending you that video or did I forget? The video of the guy, like I said, that I really like. Oh, no, you did not sell me I will that. Yes. do that because I think he did it with white wines as well. Don't forget to let uh, the linens breathe. <laughs> Gotta let the linens breathe a little bit when you got that blanket for it. Did you watch uh, or did you listen to the podcast? I still have not. Yet. <laughs> at least I sent you that one. I know, you did. At least, at least you, yeah, you made good on that one. <laughs> that one's there that's for your perusal. I think everything, I'm glad we can lay everything down on the table. Yeah, that's true. Just lays down and takes a nap. All right, well, we're going to record a podcast, first one of the evening, uh, official podcast. Obviously, we open with, a, you know, one thing, sometimes two now lately, apparently. Yeah, Keith is bringing a veritable cornucopia <laughs> bounty to the table. Whenever you are ready, we are, we are ready. So recently, uh, you had come across an article that had talked about some Trader Joe wines that were great values. Yeah, value reds, I think, specifically. Yeah. And it's fairly easy to find articles online that talk about Trader Joe wine. And there's a lot, like at the store, that have followings that are very well known, that sell well for one reason or another. Um, but we're going to have a wine tonight, and it's one that kind of what I... I well, haven't had it in a few years, but I always refer to it as a hidden gem. Okay. Because uh, it just doesn't, it doesn't sell as well as some of the others. Maybe the price, maybe, maybe it's just not known, but that's, I, I, I thought, yeah, it'd be fun to try something that, you know, maybe isn't necessarily getting a lot of publicity. And since it is heading from spring, uh, getting into spring, soon will be summer. You start thinking, you know, maybe a little bit more of a refreshing, like a chilled wine, a white or something like that. That is what we've got for this Give It A Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we are about today is The Pass, New Zealand Sauvignon Blanc. Um, this is a Marlboro Sauvignon Blanc, and it is, uh, it is relatively fresh. It's, yeah. uh, it's a 2020. Yeah, we like, we like our wines fresh we around like here. None fresh. of that older stuff. <laughs> Let's splurge, we said. So that's what we're doing here. <laughs> yeah. um, but this is one that uh, years ago when uh, my former co-worker Ethan, he and I would talk about this one. And I was just about to say them. I'm not going to say it. I'm going to see if it still is one of those things and see if you notice it. But, okay. Um, but it's one that I have recommended uh, to people, but also too, one of the kind of fun, well, not, it wasn't fun at the time, but we had this on a display at the store and, um, somehow I don't know what happened, but there was a, there was a crash and, okay. uh, and five bottles were lost in that crash. <laughs> and as we were all cleaning it up and playing taps. Uh, yes. And right. And, uh, <laughs> speaking, you know, yeah. Giving it its due as we, uh, as we do. Um, uh, the, several of my coworkers like, Oh, that smells really good. I should buy that. We, and I, and <laughs> geez, I should try it. Boy, that is a really great aroma. And so it kind of reminded me and made me think of how, like I said, what I've thought about this in the past. It has been a few years, but all of those things put together, those many layers. And we were like, eh, well, let's, uh, let, let's try it. Let's try a Sauvignon Blanc. I know you're always up for finding a new Sauvignon Blanc. Definitely. Like I said, yeah, Sauvignon, that's probably one of my favorite whites is usually the Sauvignon Blanc. Like I said, the light, you know, the Pinot Gris, uh, like said, and, and some of those are not usually my, you know, they're just getting a little bit too light. I like a little bit more flavor, a little bit of something, right. but this is usually just nice, refreshing. Like the, you know, this just came out of the fridge. So, you know, we'll let it warm up just a little bit. Right. Uh, but you, in general, you do want these a little bit colder and especially New Zealand's, uh, Sauvignon Blanc. That's definitely a go-to for mine. I've always liked, uh, what is it? The Kim Crawford is always one that's always been a go-to right. favorite of mine. Find, yeah. Uh, yeah. Easy to find and, and delicious. Like I said, that is always really good flavor, but yeah. What did you say the price on this one? It is eight ninety nine. Eight ninety nine. Okay. Right. All right. It's more than the two reds we had the last few weeks. Uh, that is, that's correct. Uh, that we have had. So, I mean, we have some other great Sauvignon Blancs that sell five ninety nine, six ninety nine. So, so, and then some that are higher than this as well, but this is kind of right in that, that middle zone that at least for Trader Joe's customers is like, oh, you sure I can't get one for a couple bucks cheaper? That's right. That's good. So anyway. Now, interesting question then too, since you were talking about that they had, uh, you know, broken and that, you know, it happened and a few other, were any customers enticed enough to say like, that smells good. I'll have that. I can't remember. I don't remember if there were any customers around or not. And, okay. Or if they did say that, but, uh, but at least through the, uh, at least two or three of my fellow crew members there were like, okay, I need to try that. Obviously you can tell, uh, I've got to hold it in front of my shirt for you to even see it is, it's very light. It's very light. Yes. Uh, the pale straw. Yeah. Like you want pale to go with that? <laughs> pale, go. The palest of straws. <laughs> uh.
This is one of those that when you used to open that cap, just immediately all of a sudden you'd be like, whoa. Oh, oh yeah. Aroma just like, when you unscrew you. that cork. Yeah. When, when you unscrew, unscrew that, that cap, cap and take a whiff. Yes. <laughs> yeah. As people tend to do with the screw caps. Oh, I cut myself. <laughs> cut myself. Can I smell the, the cap? Ow. Can I smell the cap? You hurt me. <laughs> Okay. Okay. All right. You ready? Yep. All right. All right. I've got something I think might be a little, little strange. Just because I, because I think, you know, especially in a Sauvignon Blanc, you usually think lighter and fruity, which I'm getting pear. I'm right. getting like, you know, that pear kind of little, you know, okay. citrus kind of thing. I'm actually getting like lemongrass. I'm getting something there's kind of a, earth, earth like gra- lightly yeah. earthy, like, you know, not overly, but a little bit like that. And that, but then there is still that component and obviously we used to use that in a lot of blends when we right. when we worked at our buckle like, you know, there's a lot of blends. so we're very familiar with that aroma where you get like oh that's lemon and then there's this other you know like i said nat- very natural i get that in there so i would say those are the two things that stand out yeah there's definitely a a, a kind of grassy which can be a, a a an attribute of sauvignon blancs especially from new zealand can have that grassy note i definitely get that did you mention the abv i didn't okay i'll I reach down here and i'll reach down pull it from the our table over there, and I will see that it is a twelve and a half percent. Okay. Okay. Uh, but yeah, there's some there's some uh, there is some lemon, maybe like mm-hmm. a little bit of lime. There's a little bit of something else tropical in there. I can't quite. Okay. Can't quite put my uh, yeah kind of at the end of that. the nose. There's a yeah. little something. Okay. Yeah. I really like the aroma though. Then previous nice. like I said, in previous years, this has been one that just you open that bottle and and they're just like oh my god, there's aroma. Did I need to actually throw the bottle on the ground just to get, to get the aroma? Well, afterward, we can do that. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we'll break it later and see what happens. I'll pull up some of the carpet. We'll smash it see what happens. I'm trying to figure out there's something that's a flavor in there like yeah. I can't I can't figure out like yeah, so I'm trying there. to figure out yeah. what it is <laughs> warm it up a this, maybe the cold's just the cold if I can warm it up just a little bit it'll reveal itself <laughs> which goes for a lot of things in life if you warm it up a little bit it reveals itself it reveal wait itself. what no uh, wait, stop no. stop, <laughs> stop. We've gone back to Super Seducer. <laughs> yeah. I got to keep, I checked the other day. They claim 2021 we'll get our Super Seducer 3. So three. We, can, wow. we can play okay. that again. I almost, we should do that at some point. Maybe that'd be like a channel point, th- either a channel point thing, or maybe we just do that at some point. Like we just need to go back and play some of Super Seducer 1 again. Relive one some good. of that magic, like a chapter or two. One was Try hilarious. Some other stuff. One was just amazing. We still have that clip. I think it's in the Discord somewhere. I'm pretty sure it is. Like I said, that Lucky had clipped when we had first done it, where it was like one of the very first times I read anything and you just about died laughing because that was one of his stuff. Reading. Yeah, that was good. Uh, All right, you ready? All right, should we tackle it? Yeah, let's let's try and tackle it. Speaking of speaking Lucky, of, speak of the devil right there. Do you remember that, Lucky? Remember when you clipped that? Like that was one of our early things. I remember you being here. Like I said, I had to read. It was something pretty pretty foul on screen. And like I said, Keith just started dying laughing as we were going through those options. <laughs> Oh my God! I think I'm pretty sure that's still in the Discord somewhere. I've got to grab that. Or maybe Richard it's... De La Ruina. Yeah, Richard somewhere. Richard De La Ruina. Richard the Gambler. Gambler. The Gambler. The Gambler. <laughs> that's funny. Oh, that is really good. <laughs> 
I really so it's it's some of the things I got in the aroma. Like I said, I'm still getting the lemongrass. I'm getting a little bit of earthiness. Uh, I'm also getting fresh cut grass as well. Like I said, not like just dried right. like older like dried lemongrass, but fresh cut grass. Uh, the I'm getting uh, like I said again that pear. You said something tropical passion fruit maybe. A it little could, bit. It like could a be little, there's something like that in there. There's something else that I can't get to. Maybe we can hash this there's out a, in the middle of my t- like that's there's a little almost papaya. There's almost a little like honeydew melon. Oh. Or okay. um it's almost like remember the aloe vera juice that we had? It's almost oh, that kind okay. of taste. It's yeah. almost a little bit of that. And that aloe vera isn't straight aloe vera. It's got no. some other stuff in it. It's yeah. almost that. Um this is less this I think this used to be a lot more fruit forward than it is now, but it's still very well balanced and very there's a lot of it does have that nice sort of like you said the the, the kind of grassy note going in there. It's not mineral, it's not but it, there's nothing high fruit. It, like to me, it's there's a melon of of some kind going be. on in there. Uh, Whatever it is is delicious. There's something else that kind of brings a lot of those things together uh, in a very fantastic way. I think there's a lot of great layers in here. Um, I think it might not be what everyone would normally expect or want in a Sauvignon Blanc, perhaps, because like you just said, you know, usually they're expecting maybe a little more fruit forward. Right. So for me, this is, I am pleasantly surprised as someone that probably leans a little more toward a Chardonnay or something like that. Like I said, this has complexity that I didn't expect, but is still very bright and delicious. And if you right. know, it's, it's getting hot, it's got, you know, all those kinds of, you know, scenarios, however you want to, you know, create right. it where you want, you know, just a nice lighter, like white wine, um, man. Yeah, that's, I really like that a lot. That's good. I I have not had the Kim Crawford in quite a while, uh, so I'd have to compare it to that, which that one's usually much more expensive. 16 or 17. Yeah, usually, yeah, yeah, mid-teens for that one, and especially at this one at 8.99. Right. This is... This is really good value. Yeah. It's There's too bad other... you threw some on the floor. <laughs> I will not be bottles. breaking the rest of this bottle. I'm Do just not. Keep no, it no, as is. no. You can uh, you can stream. Okay. Use it on the stream tomorrow. <laughs> I will have to. Like, yeah, this is, yeah, this is this is very good. I'll help you when it gets up to ninety degrees in your in the room here. Oh my god! Did you see that photo? I, I took did the see other that. Day? Oh my gosh! The, the, the... It was crazy. Actually, I did... follow us on Twitter. <laughs> <laughs> so is this one that you would want to buy for yourself or is this not what you normally would yeah no like i would still buy this and and there's another one that came back that we don't carry year round it's a 5.99 one that uh, i'm going to revisit as well plus that chardonnay that we talked about did come back so there'll be some other uh, some other things to try if we want to stay with the, the white wine uh sort of wave as we as we roll toward the spring and summer here Nice. I would uh, definitely be interested in doing that. And if you want to ride the wave of uh, all the things that we've had here at About Beverages uh, over the last decade, uh, you can head on over to the website, obviously, aboutbeverages.com. You can find everything. Uh, our tastings that we have done, uh, obviously, our recipes, uh, like uh, news articles, uh, and mostly, uh, the, obviously, the podcasts and the videos. If you only want the latest videos, I am totally fine with that. Head on over to YouTube. You can subscribe there. We'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, give that a look, and you will always know when our uh, latest content goes live because you'll get a little reminder if you subscribe to us there. Uh, if you only want audio, that's totally fine, too. We've got you covered. Uh, all of your usual places, uh, Apple, uh, obviously, iTunes. Uh, you've got Google Podcasts. you got Spotify. Uh, and if you have any kind of podcast app that you like using, we are there. Just search for About Beverages. Uh, and uh, if you want, it go even the extra mile. There's some like web things we do, too. Yeah, uh, well, I th- we've referred to them before as pillars. That's true. The three pillars. Uh, we've got Facebook, we've got Instagram, and we've got Twitter, which is the one that we use most often. In fact, I used it just a little bit. Just a little while what? ago. Yes. You didn't tell me that. Well, because it's Thursday night, and I let people know that we were about to go live on oh. twitch.tv slash aboutbeverages. That's when we uh, record these uh, pod, uh, specific podcast segments, as well as uh, the entire show now. Yes. The entire show goes up uh, the following week, um, and you can join us, uh, join us on Thursdays as we talk about oh, all kinds of things. Beverages, sports, um, shots. Vaccinations. We talk about lots of things <laughs> exactly, like that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, all things topical. All things creams. Topical. Yes. <laughs> well, topical creams. Topical creams. Yeah, they're done there. Well, and also Andrew lets you know when he's gonna what he's gonna be doing and when he'll be doing it, uh, game wise. Oh, thank God! Uh, throughout the week. Wise. Well, yeah, yeah, I had to say <laughs> I that. I'm like, glad I, yeah, the qualifier there. I yeah. was almost. So. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. perfect. I, what? I have to let people know that? <laughs> yeah, I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> so follow us on uh, Twitter. That's where you can uh, keep up to date with what's going on and about beverages. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. All right, let me have us not get turn each other. No, I'm just kidding. I've uh, already taken care of that problem. Clipped what? 
Yeah, clipped what? Uh, yeah, so sorry, we were just going back to the podcast when you answered. Uh, you clipped a long time ago, and I, like I said, it's either, I think it's still either in the Discord or definitely, probably... I'm trying to think. It's got to be in our, like, if you go I'll scroll all the way back, because the clips are usually there on... Uh, on Twitch, the one that you had clipped when we were playing a super seducer, like we'd barely had been doing this for like maybe a couple months doing like I had been streaming a little bit, but then we were finally doing the podcast stuff on the Thursday nights and we started incorporating gameplay and we played that super seducer game and you clipped like Keith basically dying laughing as I was recording, uh, like saying <laughs> some pretty foul stuff, uh, at least at the time for our channel. Now we're pretty much blue all the time, <laughs> like his shirt blue, we work blue like his shirt. Yeah, this is, this is quite good. It used to be, like I said, you would open that cap and just that aroma would just pop right out. I don't think it's quite that right now, but it's, it's, it's a little different. But yeah, I like it. This is one, I said $8.99, you know, our biggest seller is six ninety nine. What's that one? Is that the... It's called Picton Bay. Is that the Under the Pass? Yeah. <laughs> Picton Bay. Picton Bay. Picton Where is Bay. that at? What is that out of? Same. They're all, these are our New Zealand songs. Oh, they're all New Zealand? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Got a lot of a lot of good. Have ones. you had that one recently enough? To I have not had that speculate. one. Recently. Okay, yeah. It'd be interesting to try that one. That too. Should be something like you should just every day when you walk in, you're like, I'm opening this one. We used to be able to do stuff like that. <laughs> have have a tasting. Hey, let's we're gonna try some Sauvignon Blancs mm -hmm. and just open three or four or five and bring people back and try them and we'll hopefully with everybody being smart and getting vaccinated and and, and getting to that point, then I mean, we'll you got we'll disposable cups that probably wouldn't be a problem, right? There's still, there's, you know, we're not, we don't even, we only allow one person in the break room at a time now. So oh, really? there's a lot of, yeah, we're all trying to, trying to be smart and be safe. <laughs> With the amount of like staff that you have, like someone literally walks in, clocks in, and they're like, all right, it's break time for you. Yeah. It's like, sorry, it's your slot. It's like, <laughs> yeah, damn, you, gotta go gonna, now. You, gotta, you walk in, clock in and go to lunch. This is rough. So I looked and this is, I guess, part of, uh, they're part of Foley Wines. Okay. Uh, which like, I saw when I was at the pass, obviously their website, when you scroll down, obviously they do a Pinot Gris. They do a Pinot Noir. Do you have we the Pinot had Noir? the Pinot Noir. We don't carry it anymore. Okay. Because huh. it says it's lively. And I thought, oh, that sounds nice. Yeah. No, we used to carry that. We don't carry it anymore. Uh, but the pass, Foley Wines Limited. So then I looked them up huh. and they've got basically Foley Wines is, uh, they are all of all throughout New Zealand. They have uh, wineries throughout uh, Auckland and Marlboro and Martinboro and uh, Central Otago and all that kind of stuff. Um and, uh, but yeah, they basically have a collection. If you go to their website, check out all their bland, brands, as you can see this, they've got, they have all of these. If they do any and then there's the past right there. Boat shed Bay sanctuary. Any of these ring a bell? No, I don't care. There's a gin. They, a they, gin. Own, they have a gin company. Wow. Uh, okay. Russian, but yeah, then but what was huh. interesting was that you can buy a lot of their wines directly from them uh, and do like they have like gift packs and like huh. summer packs and all those kind of things. In most I of those, you can though, buy this other places. Huh. Well, but in most of those, because I looked through some of them and again, it was just a quick glance. The past I never saw was part of any of them. So it might be a winery they have, but then maybe they do sell like maybe they've got a deal with Trader Joe's or something like that because I could not find it sold anywhere else. Well, because we sell one that's called Kono and I've seen that one like come up on lists of, you know, the best wines. And, but I've always thought that was a Trader Joe's exclusive as well. Cause it comes out of our warehouse. And those are the things that, you know, we don't get from this, uh, oh, okay. from our vendors. Uh, we get those just from through our uh, warehouse. So do you have one guy that like delivers all your beer? Like do you have one like distributor? Like, no, we get from beer? Hensley and Finley. They okay. So yeah. Yeah. Um, Cause Hensley does, do they do Dragoon? Is that how that works? Can't remember which one. I always get them confused. Okay. Yeah. One one of them one of them does that. Okay. I think it's. Hensley. I think it's. Or is it Finley? And it doesn't. Matter. Actually, I think it's Finley. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Hensley brings. Uh, what do they bring? They bring Mayflowers. No, they bring uh, <laughs> Mother Road. They bring. Uh, I just got that yesterday. They bring some of our ciders. They bring the uh, cut water. Uh, oh, the cut water spirit, spirit stuff. stuff. Yeah, they bring that. Did you wind up getting in it? Do you have any of the Bloody Mary ones? No, we never. We just have the two still. I've seen that. They have the Bloody Mary one at Total Wine, but you can't get it in a single can. I don't want to buy six of them. It's a four probably. Or a four, whatever it is. Yeah. I don't want to buy more That's than one. That's too much. Let's put this. Let's I don't want to buy more than one. I don't care if it's a two pack. Yeah, yeah. I don't care if I it's a three pack. Two. I would buy two. Okay. <laughs> three Marvin K. Mooney, will you please go yeah. now? 
I don't want to buy two. I don't. I want would to like to try one. one of those. I'd like to see if that one is actually like thick enough, or it's like ah, this is good, but it's kind of like in my head, a canned Bloody Mary is going to be kind of watered down and kind of thin. Like when I make it, it's usually you know have your VA juice, or you put in a little even extra tomato paste in there to make it kind of a ex- little hearty. I don't see that happening in a can, but we were watching a Chopped episode the other day, and they uh, there were Bloody Mary potato chips that they had to use. Oh, yeah. So they just taste like a tomato. Tomato, probably celery. <laughs> a little spice. Yeah. Some, some celery seasoning. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. So what did someone do? Did they make like a crust out of it? Yeah. The, yeah. They, someone had to make a crust some, out of it. Yeah. They breaded, uh, it was a certain chicken sandwich from Nashville that they made. It was oh. called like a hot bake or a hot, a hot something that they used that to uh, bread that. Okay. So, okay. So we got some lemongrass. You should just start putting up a photo of your handwritten notes. <laughs> like, there you go. Yeah. That'd be kind of funny. <laughs> Our tasting notes is just a picture. Through you, audience. <laughs> yeah. there we go. No, I'm just kidding. Just I don't kidding. feel like retyping this. Yeah, I'm not saying. No, I do. I just have to get in a, I just have to get in a habit. I just have to get in a routine. I'm tra- There's still something else in there. Dill, maybe? There's something else herbaceous in there hmm. in the middle. Not, maybe not dill. There's something else herbaceous in there that I'm loving and I cannot put my finger on it and it's bothering me. Tarragon. Oh, wait. Was it like, I wish I had that clip right now, like I said from Frazier of the, what's better than the perfect meal? A perfect meal with one thing we can pick apart the entire <laughs> evening or something like that. It's like they love the perfect meal where it's like one thing that was wrong just so they can nitpick at it the entire evening. Oh, have you watched any more Frazier? I have not. Okay. Not. You're a little bit into season nine, basically? Yes. Okay. Maybe next week. Okay. <laughs> There's something else. There's something about the Sauvignon Blanc that Andres. makes me want to give it... Oh, wait, that's Michael Jackson's song. We've been going back through, we've been going back and forth between either Cheers watching that or watching Modern Family again, I think I was telling you. Oh, yeah. So we're like into season three or maybe four. I could, I didn't, I've seen all of Modern Family. I didn't know, and some of them multiple times, I didn't, I didn't remember that like they had the whole arc of Gloria getting pregnant so early. It's like since season three. I I think it's the end of season three. Yeah, yeah. I was shocked. Like I was like. Oh my God. I was like, yeah. for some reason I thought that was, I mean, because that show's on 11 seasons. I didn't yeah. think that little kid was on there that long. Cause then they even kind of yeah. do a, like they have her like, you know, I'm pregnant and they do like one episode and then the next one, they, at the very end, they're kind of doing like some flash forward thing. And also right. she's like six or seven months pregnant. Right. It's from, and I was like, Oh my God, I'm yeah. like, she's going to have birth, give birth. I think it was at the end of season three that yes, she found she out. And the then the beginning season, of season right. four is the one with Jay's birthday. Yeah. And uh, yeah. It's like, I, I saw my life and I didn't thing. want any part of that. Yeah. 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 And that's yeah. the one with Phil with the beard, right? Yes. I very, should, yeah. Because right. Shorty keeps saying, I, I, you, I think you'd really look good with a beard. Yeah. Chaz Paul Monterey. Because then they, they shoot yeah. forward head like six he's months. Got the beard. Yeah, he's got the I beard. think he does look good with it. Actually. He looks fine. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he's very funny. Like yeah. I said, there's some, there's some very good ones. Like, I, I, I like that show. about growing a beard? You know. You got the bone structure for it. You got the bone structure for it. And, and then she says, no, you're shaving that. He's like, it's just going to kill Shorty. It's going to kill Shorty. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's a chess parliamentary, and that is really good. Yeah, he's just. But yeah, you're right. I didn't think about how in the overall progression of that series, that is. For, for some for reason, season, I thought yeah. that was a much later arc. Yeah. Like I was like five or six, and all of a sudden I was like, because it, it started to happen. I was like, what season are we in? I was yeah. like, did we skip? And then I was like, it's like, no, we're like, yeah, like you said, end of season three and then starting yeah. to season four. I was like, damn. Yeah, but yeah, that's that is still quite a classic show. Definitely getting some good laughs going through that one again. <laughs> definitely, definitely many a good laugh. Oh God, pressure! Yeah, <laughs> I feel this is a way to do it. Don't set it up. Don't ask. Just, just throw it. it out there. Just, just whip it the, out as they the say. We're whipping out some story yeah. of the week. At least she didn't spell that with an E A K. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm in silver one. <laughs> That'd be the story of the week. Yeah, the story of the week. It's, uh, my it week says story. week, and then all of a sudden the, it falls down and starts tilting. It drops and off there, yeah. yeah. 
Um, still, uh, my goal is to get to plat two. I can't okay. quite get there. I've gotten into three. It's okay. I don't uh, have a ring. That's all right. There you go. It's all right. It's the only game I play, so I, I have to take some pride. Debo's here for a little hug and that's some right. comfort. That's some, right. Some distance hugging there. No, I, uh, I've gotten close. I'll get like into plat three and I'll be in the 60s or 70s and then a big backslide, you know. But I do try lots of different things. Oh, <laughs> thanks, Debo. Sending you teddy bear hugs. Just Aww. send us some of the gumbo and it'll make it all better. Oh, yeah. Um, so, uh, the, and the good news is at least I was able to come to you today and say I'm at least still in plat. I'm in plat four, but I'm a zero because it was a, I had, you know, you have good and you have bad. Yeah. And so I'm, I'm You've right had there. more bad than good lately. Uh, you know, it's, it's funny though. I don't, I, I, I think, uh, Ben has said that they, <laughs> they, cause, cause you win a certain amount, like for coming in first and you lose a certain amount for coming in eighth. Right. And there's a disparity between that. So like if I come in first now, I win, let's say 37. Okay. But if I finish in last, I lose like 54. So it's not an even trade. And no. I think I was told that that might have to do with how consistent you are. Like if, you know, if you are at least staying, you know, winning, a, a, you know, a, on a consistent level as opposed to, you know, I dip down and dip up. That might be it. And also the higher you go, I think that stuff happens too. Um, but, uh, but so yeah, it's been, it's been a little bit rough. So right now I'm okay. at, uh, uh, but still, still platform, but once again, I'm expanding a little bit. And also too, one of my main builds dropped down to an A. So it's been a little bit rougher with that one too. So yeah, you but don't still like, fun. don't like your builds dropping down to your A. No. LG, how's it going? Good to see you. Yeah. You missed out a little bit earlier. We did have another cider like we did last week as well. We podcasted yes. on the cider thinking uh, of you always lately when we've been doing those, just open up the storage containers that look like teddy bears. Perfect. <laughs> and that's where the gum. That's where you will find the gumbo. Uh, this one was definitely not one to have. The la- the one from last week. I don't know if you got to watch that or hear about it. Uh, Schilling cider, Excelsior. Oh shoot. Okay, hold use on. It. You, We're gonna you use what? it. You're gonna get the full uh, the full benefit here. This hold is on. the one we had last week LG, from uh, yes from Schilling. Uh, they got the north one? northwest Schilling the cider. It was there. It literally is called Excelsior. It has a giant giraffe in a in a uh, astronaut's helmet on the front. It is an imperial green apple cider. Yeah, eight and a half percent alcohol. It was very good. Yes, it was very good. Recommend that one. And two doll- No, two bucks a can. <clears throat> I'm gonna it, think it's probably it. yeah closer no. to two twenty five. Okay. Yeah, 225 two twenty five. Two two and a quarter okay. a can, but it was it was very good. Definitely worth it. The one we had today, the one that's right there, the uh, Henry Hotspur cider is a Trader Joe's exclusive. No. Don't get that one. It's just not, it's, it's not our thing for sure. Just, we it, sell a lot it's of very, it. It's very, it's very bland. Yeah. I think if you want yeah. something that's kind of watered down and apple, apple cider apple and vinegar kind of thing, yeah. like maybe if that's your thing, but which I like beverages that have, you know, like the, I'm going to bring one over for us to try the, that has uh, apple cider in it. So I don't have a problem with that. We go. got two weeks worth out of that. That's pretty good. <laughs> That Part of that, pretty. that music in the background reminds me of something at Disneyland. Yeah. Da, da, da. I'll keep an eye out. I've been into, uh, into a cidery from Bend, uh, Oregon recently. Lots of cider. Ooh, that sounds... You'll okay. have to definitely uh, put some of those links in the Discord if you've got uh, good stuff or some good ciders you've had. Even if it's stuff I can't find, I still like living vicariously through others uh, when it comes to different beverages. So definitely put those in there. Um, I someday want to get to Oregon. That's definitely one of those bucket lists. I want to get up to Bend, Oregon. I'd like to, you know, I'd like to go to New York. I'd like to go to Chicago again. Maybe uh, take a train to Hawaii, something like that. A train to Hawaii, you Yeah, say. someday they'll get that train there. <laughs> Whenever they do, I'll be the first one on it. <laughs> Maybe take that rocket that uh, Elon Musk is building. Can you name that in Hawaii? To Hawaii. Just drop you off. As you I'll over. just parachute out. Go ahead. Jump out. Uh, run by some old British guy, runs the place, makes real dry cider called Avid Cider. Avid Cider. Interesting. Or is it Avid? Oh, it could be Avid. Avid Cider. There it is. Avid Cider Company. Northwest to the core. I am 21 or older, as far as you know. Who we are, inspired by landscape culture, abundance of Northwest Avid Cider Company. A family-run business is dedicated to creating a hard cider using sustainability sources and local ingredients. I like it already. Taste the goods. Apple Stardust hard cider. 
Oh, star, they use star fruit in there. Apple and star oh, fruit. Oh. oh, do you think? I think it might be a little carambola, as they say. Oh, wow. wow. Star fruit. Okay. It's up here. I thought I had it on the floor. The stardust is outstanding. Hmm. That sounds good. That is interesting. They also have a, a hard cider, a side lemonade, Ooh, lemon, a side berry, acai. blueberry. That sounds great. That does sound good. Blackberry, currant, apple, orange, creamsicle, Valencia, orange, and vanilla bean. Man, these all sound really good. Wow. Gluten free. Woohoo. Nice. <laughs> do they, I wonder if, do they say where you can, or do they ship to Arizona? That's what they say. Do they ship? Where can we get these? Find our stuff. About us. Is there a find our stuff? I haven't found it yet. Gift card. Oh, wait. Distribution. Oh, where was it? Farther. Get directions. Distribution. This button. Got it. I don't know. Maybe that's about being a distributor. Sorry, the store requires. Oh. oh My parents lived nearby. Visit recently brought me some. Haven't tried ordering yet. Nice. Uh, unfortunately, they don't, have, look like unfortunately they don't have that set up at least on their website. Let's see if we go back, go back to the Google, <clears throat> excuse me, Facebook, visit Bend, Oregon Live, Untapped. Those sound really good, LG. Oof. What a wine have that? Eh, maybe. No, not available in Tucson. Mm. I'll have to keep an eye out for but that. But let me show you some bourbons you might like. I think it's it. <laughs> Did it? Well, well look at, but the pictures below are, I think, are bourbon or scotch or whiskey of some sort. So, it's funny you mentioned bourbon slash whiskey. Slash bourbon? I made an impulse purchase today. Okay. I got an email at just the right time. I was in the right frame of mind as I was doing things. I may or may not have ordered... It's another blackened whiskey. Oh, metallic. Another Metallica blackened okay. whiskey. They did a special, a special one. It's a uh, cask strength. Okay. And so they're doing it. So it's a one-off cask strength. Uh, their new uh, uh, master distiller is uh, Rob Dietrich. Um, he's uh, formerly of a couple That's different, a uh, couple different other distilleries. I have to look up, find the huh. email. Um, but anyway, he. Uh, they put it out. So it's actually, that was the only thing that was a little bummer. I almost didn't order it because it's the playlist of Metallica. He chose it wasn't a Metallica person. Like, so, uh, so it's a bummer. Like the ones I have, like I said, I have the, you know, the couple that I've gotten, uh, have been, uh, like actually of the members of Metallica. Um, but that one wasn't, but then I was swayed back cause it was like, this is a one off we're doing. It. And then the hmm. other thing too, is everything that's in there is, is, uh, aged eight years plus. So wow. it was additional, okay. so additional years and okay. then blended together a few different ones. And then it's still finished in the black and brandy barrels. So whenever okay. that winds up arriving, uh, we'll, uh, I definitely guess that'll try be that. a podcast. Yeah. That'll be a hundred percent a podcast. Uh, yeah. hundred it's so it's barrel proof, but it's not ridiculous. It's like 112 proof. It's okay. not like insane. Like it's not like if it had been like something super crazy. Um, I'm actually, I've heard, heard ads for blackened, uh, during the Dan Patrick show. Oh, nice. Not, I mean, he's not actually doing it, but they're, you know, when they go to commercial break, I heard one the other day. I was like, oh, okay. That's the band talking about it. Yeah, that's, so. it's nice. You can actually, you can, and it's my luck. Although, the, so the only other reason I got it too is because of what they were doing. They were offering free shipping, so I didn't have to pay for shipping. Okay. So then I was like, ah, that's about like if I bought it here in town and it wasn't like that much. It was like an extra like few bucks because uh, it was, you know, this special edition one or whatever. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it's nice. You can get it now here total. I think it's actually a decent whiskey and I went and I thought, well, maybe it's just me. Yeah. Like maybe we're, or at least not you, but maybe I'm a little bit, uh, you know, no, I, I remember uh, liking it. Yeah, no, yeah. it's, it's good. Like I've, you know, I've had, uh, I have three bottles. Did I have three bottles? I did have three bottles cause I bought two and then they wound up sending me another one through a long story that I've talked about too many times before. But anyway, <laughs> um, no, I think it's, I think it's actually pretty good. Like, and it's just, you know, obviously my love of Metallica then plays into it. Um, but I went over and looked at a couple of different reviews of people that had other batches, uh, you know, some other whiskey reviewers and they've said the same thing. They're like, they're like, yeah, this is probably definitely my favorite of anything that's, you know, we really like it. 
And then of anything that's ever band labeled, they were like, this is probably the best thing we've had of anybody that's, you know, been like, okay, good. This is for band name or, you know, that they're actually putting right. time into it and they're finding people. But yeah, he worked for a couple different distilleries for quite a while. And then obviously, you know, the, you know, Dave Pickerel, like who started the whole process, you know, I mean, he has whistle pig ties and everything else. So you've got a pretty good lineage there. And then this guy's just kind of carrying it on. But I guess he likes the, he likes the barrel proof stuff because then he says, I like it because you can enjoy it at that strength. Or if you want to put in that little cap full of water yeah. and proof it down to whatever you like, then you can still open it up and try it that way. And I was like, well, that kind of makes sense. Never, we, we weren't big never, fans of that though. When we did, we, had, we did that with one of them and we, with one of the whiskeys we had. One of the bourbons, I think, right? I mean that we proof something down? Yeah. Yeah, I've, usually I'm not. Like, usually then it, it just yeah. tastes like a water. It tastes like a thinner version of that right. thing. I think, I think the whiskey in general has to have a pretty good body to be yeah. able to do that and make it not taste watered down. Yeah. I think that's kind of the key. Like, I don't mind if you want to lighten up some of the alcohol because that sometimes can be very strong. Totally understand that. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, yeah, sometimes you kind of... It, it's a trade-off. And this, you know, that'll be a good thing. Maybe we'll go ahead and do that on this one since yeah, it is that. Try it again. So we'll, we'll try it both ways, like I said. But hopefully within the next couple of weeks, uh, I'll see that. Because it's, it's released. It wasn't like a pre-release thing. So I'm hoping it just ship out fairly soon. But we'll see. Um, but yeah, that it's was the a, uh, um, reduced ground shipping. It'll be here in two months. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was conservative ground. It was definitely very much an impulse buy. I think I, I literally was getting, I was pulling up your email so that I could finish all the stuff oh, from you writing the post. Right. And I was doing that. And also I saw on the screen, I was like, Black and whiskey, because I get, I'm on their newsletter stuff, but it's always usually just about either a new batch or whatever. But then all of a sudden it had him and it said limited release and it's, it said barrel proof. It basically said like barrel proof, you say. <laughs> it, like, it said barrel proof. I'm and in. I, and I was like, huh? And I clicked on it and saw it. And it was only at the last, I literally had everything in my cart. I was about to order it and I was like, wait, I didn't see who the batch, well, like what the songs uh. were. And that was when I went out and looked and I saw that he had act like the person, the distiller, since it was like one of his first contributions since he's taken over, um, creating this, he got to, but the playlist was good. Like I was like, oh, these songs okay. are good. You know, like the, so the songs were good, but it was funny because, and then they did have a, I think it was from early in March. He did like a promo video, like talking about it or whatever, but you had me at barrel proof. Yeah, I, it kind of did just cause it was like, like, again, I like the whiskey and I was like, well, let's try the barrel proof version of that. See if they bring out even a little bit more and. Um, and on top of the barrel proof was the age statement when I was like, Eight okay, years, yeah. yeah. Cause I don't know what the other ones, if they ever have had an age statement of any kind, I don't think so. But when it said that, I was like, okay, that's kind of interesting. A little bit, you know, more aging there. Yeah. Hopefully there's a little more, uh, even complexity, but we will find out. We will definitely, uh, find that out. I don't know if I've had a uh, star fruit enough to know. Kind of has that. But do you think uh, that's uh, that funny? Is? So yeah. what is, so what is, what is that exactly? Star fruit? Yeah. It actually is a, it's kind of, well, I, it's, it's overall its shape is kind of oval, but then it does have different ridges in it. So that when you cut it, it looks like a star. Oh, okay. And I believe it's actual name is like car carambola. Okay. Wow. Um, this man right here. So that's why he that's is. not how I would have spelled it, but that's how <laughs> I would have said. Um, so, yeah. So you and you know, you can, I, I've actually seen it at AJ's. It's been a while since I've been to AJ's, but they used to carry like quince okay. and all these weird. What these is a quince? That, yeah. Um, <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. He's in uh, uh, Jaws, I think. Captain Quince. Oh, wait. No. <laughs> oh, that's Captain <laughs> Quint. Yeah. Um, Oh, that's great. But we used to use them uh, at the bakery. Years yes. Ago. So we're discussing, because I, as, as you mentioned that, that particular cider and we looked it up and it said star fruit, the wine that we just had, uh, that we are featuring uh, tonight, the uh, Sauvignon Blanc, the past from Trader Joe's. I was trying to figure out what this other flavor was. It was in there that I really liked. And that was as soon as star fruit came up, that was when Keith was like, well, maybe. I was like star fruit. Yeah. I haven't he, had that in a he while. Thought maybe that was kind of that flavor that was in there. And then I'll, as I tasted it again, I was like, you know what? I don't know if I really know exactly what that tastes like. And so we started talking about it just now. We used to use them at the bakery when we could get them uh, as part of our fresh fruit tarts. Actually, it was uh, kind of a nice component. They're kind of expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Consistency of a grape. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it, it, absolutely. Says and it is great. They are grapey in flavor, actually. Southeast not, Asia, native to tropical um, Southeast Asia. Okay. Tire fruit is edible. 
Oh, I you know I have seen those. Yeah. I just saw a picture of that. Because okay. when you cut them, then that's, yeah. that was a and, and I that name has stuck with me. Uh, John Paul actually taught me that. Okay, so, yeah, I, and I just remembered that. He's also the person who said a banana is actually a three segmented piece of fruit. If you if you peel a banana and you like poke your finger in through the bottom of it, it'll come away in three. What? It 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 does. It's yeah. I know. I know. Although, also, who is poking their finger in the bottom of a banana? Well, I know. Well, I'm not why sure was why he you're doing this. But how, <laughs> John who Paul, discovered why you doing this? this? Yes. Yeah. Why did he discover it? <laughs> I wasn't using my finger to do it. Oh. Rock Rambla is Whoa. 91% water, 7% carbohydrates, 1% protein. Has negligible fat. Table. Yes, inflate. So what? Fla- so what? We, I was. That was also what I was trying to find. I was like, "This is a great article about it." What the hell does it taste like? <laughs> that was kind of what I was trying to find. Uh, there was Brian, something maybe used in cooking. They're usually stewed in clothes. Sweet without being overwhelming, uh, or rarely have more than four. Well, that's not what I'm looking for. No, there you go. Oh, there you go. Mix of. Oh, they have a tart, sour undertone and. I don't even know. Yeah. Apple, pear, grape. What is this word? And citrus family. Wallach? Have you guys seen this uh, Travis Scott cacti seltzer thing? No, I have not. What's that? Cactus alcohol? All right. Down the rabbit hole. Is it a seltzer? Cacti agave spiked seltzer. I do see it now. Travis Scott partners with AB on cacti agave spiked seltzer. That does seem weird. Well, we're just not big fans of the spiked seltzer. Oh, I thought you were going to say Travis Scott. I have no idea who Travis Scott is. <laughs> Shall I know who Travis Scott is? Famous, uh, you know, artist of uh, whatnot. Oh, I think okay. he had a burger. Did he have a burger? Big thing amongst the Arizona college students right now. There you go. Didn't he have a he had a burger? Apple, pear, grape, not sour, in my opinion. Okay, interesting. Well, then that, I, yeah, I mentioned pear and like said, yeah, that could be that yeah. definitely. Wow, that's a, and I even mentioned the aloe. That's the kind of note that I was getting okay. at with that when I was talking about that aloe vera pulp because it had that the pulp juice. That is yeah. fascinating that that all tied in together. LG, again, thank you for being here. Look, yeah. look at how that Very all tied good. in perfectly. Diamond certified recording artist, songwriter, producer, fashion mogul, and I'm pretty sure it was McDonald's. He had his own McDonald's burger. Can anyone back me up on this? Travis Scott had that. He had like a meal. You could order the Travis Scott meal. Mm, McDonald burger. <laughs> Chief Justice Warren burger. Warren burger. Uh, new endeavors and extension was ever great. Jack in the box brand. patty melt. Hitting shelves in spring 2021. Cacti agave spiked seltzer. huh we'll have to look keep an eye out for that. the thing i was actually looking for today because like i'm usually not a big uh uh like energy drink kind of person like that we've talked about so but like coke has that one now where it's like coke and coffee like they're making a big deal it's like coke and coffee or something like that because they're actually using coffee with soda and it's like okay. some sort of energy drink i wanted to find one of those i was at target today and i could not find one okay so it didn't happen. Um, we've got one last beverage, don't we? We do. We do. We have one more, and it is, uh, we've got a wine here from New Zealand. Oh, no, we already did that one. Wait, we did that. That was supposed to be the last beverage, but it's not. I think it's probably a good choice that we, I think the think others so are going to layer on top of this very well. We will find out. We've got a uh, milkshake out. IPA that we will uh, talk about when we get uh, back. We've got to go grab it. Get some new glasses. Yes, definitely new refresh. glasses. Yeah, refresh. We'll see you in just a few. I'm going to make sure the microphone is muted for at least the first four or five minutes of this segment. We should be good. Oh, I forgot to turn off that. Hold on. Wait, can I turn off? <laughs> Team Fight Tactics, story of the week. Oh, Get out there of here. it is. Maybe, maybe that's a sub point thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you, <laughs> actually, do you want the Team Fight Tactics story of the week? Every five minutes, I'll be like, I just said that. No, I just I, I'm sure people would probably pay to have that not play. Maybe. I don't know. Who knows? No, that's not we true. Just, it's a... Did you ever make the peanut butter bourbon milkshake? I didn't, and that is something I, I should do. Maybe that's actually like, would you would you uh, have a peanut butter bourbon milkshake? I would 
Try one, of course. Okay. Maybe we should just do that on a podcast. Flood is I was placed in four in front of me. Yeah. I was going to do that for like, again, because I had, uh, like I said, lost uh, a few pounds. I was like, that was like my goal thing. And I goal? just had never gotten around to it because I was like, man, I got to buy this bottle of peanut butter whiskey. Yeah. How much is, how much is it at Trader Joe's? 30. Yeah. I Which I could get it then for, you know, with my discount, I could get it for 24, but it's still not as cheap as. I think it was cheaper. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'll have to look again. Like I said, if it's still that cheap, I just need to finally buy that and i won't drink it like any other way but that's some I chocolate ice my, cream and I, so the same co-worker i mentioned who's just started watching our podcasts he has bought that you mean someone like subscribe to us at uh, youtube.com slash abs- about beverages yeah, fantastic yes. shameless plug let's go yeah and uh so he i could ask him if he has some left and if he'd be willing to part with what however much we need yeah i don't know or i could purchase it from him i guess hey can i, I buy- don't know I'll have to look. Like so I will probably need to go to Costco in the next couple of weeks. We'll we'll hash that out. I would but, hate for you to have to invest in the whole thing. I mean, if it's if it's good in a milkshake, I'm down to have a milkshake, like and or several of them. You can recreate the Roadhouse uh, effect. Have a boozy milkshake while you. Not, oh, not Patrick Swayze. I thought Patrick Swayze. No, was the Roadhouse show up at my movie house. theater. I was yeah. like, holy shit, that's Road awesome! House. Oh my god, the Roadhouse. Yeah. That's what these vaccines are for. I can go so to the roadhouse. Go to the roadhouse and watch a movie. <laughs> Actually, it was funny. Have I think some I, food. I think I said, uh, and this is again, this is not totally why at all. But like as I looked at my wife today, I was like, "This, we're closer to going to Fleming's again." <laughs> Which is closer a, to a steakhouse, a delicious steakhouse. Closer to just living life normally again. So that's yeah, wrong like with I that. mean, feeling okay with yeah, going out a little bit yeah. or whatever. And um, people are choose to be an idiot around you, knowing that. Hopefully you have science on your side. So yeah, uh, yeah, but anyway. uh, but yeah, no, I I think I would I would like to do that. Yeah, that might be kind of a fun like do a quick taste of it without it. And right. Like you know what this would work in milkshake. Quick time boom. lapse. Boom. Ducey dropped all the restrictions today for Arizona. Yeah, we are not excited about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, because most people are not fully vaccinated yet. Right. They, he should have. That's one of those things he should have uh, waited <laughs> right. a couple months for right. at least. Um, cause we're not even at 20% fully vaccinated. We've gotten, I think they said 30 or 40% are in the, like, and I'm one of those. I was lucky enough. I got my shot yesterday. The rest of my family are in process. Like I said, you know, obviously Keith's uh, going through getting some as well. So we're all getting in the loop, but it's like, even as quick as my loop is right now, like it's not till basically the beginning of May. Will I be actually fully vaccinated right. when it would be okay. Protected. And, I'm, and I'm at one of the earlier stages of that. Um, I don't know why, like you can't. I guess if you're under 16, you're not supposed to get the vaccine or something. Oh, I don't know. We call, call hi douchey. Oh, no, we call him hi douchey. That's him. good. Yeah, we call him douchey. Yeah, he is 100. percent I mean, it's it. Yeah, it, we talked about it earlier. The quick thing is like literally, it's spiking the ball at the five yard line and not actually scoring the touchdown. Right. That's what's going on right now in Arizona. <laughs> Imagine most businesses will maintain the restrictions at least. I hope so. I hope so. Like I said, I know it seems like Trader Joe's is going to do something similar, enforce it as much as possible. And I hope others do too. Like I said, you know, because we're we're so close. You have a different keyboard. So close. I'm just noticing that. I've had this for weeks, months. You know, have your cool like typewriter. No, I got rid of that one a while back. Oh, wow. Man, that shows you how alert I am. (laughs) I'm so focused on our visitors or on our listeners, the beverages. I don't, I I don't, yeah. Yeah. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Does it just not work anymore or? No, I just got like tired it. of it. Like I felt like I was honestly, it was I was not typing as as good without okay. it. Like I said, especially when I was doing other things or typing stuff up, I was always because the keyboard was smaller and then didn't have the ten key, which wasn't oh, a huge okay. deal. Uh, but then the keys just being old timey and a little smaller. Like I just noticed I was missing much more things. You, uh, um, yeah, you don't realize that the ten key actually is very handy. Like my mm-hmm. like on my iPad, I don't yeah. have that. And yeah, so yeah, no, it's nice to have that. Yeah, my uh, keypad for my iPad actually like it just literally doesn't work anymore. I don't know what happened. Hmm. It like started going in and out, and then even though it was charged, it would connect for a little while, and all of a sudden it wouldn't be connected anymore. And then I've done. It was kind of like you were having some issues with yours too, with where the keyboard wasn't working. The A. Yeah, this was like the whole thing would literally stop working, and then it was like it wouldn't. So I don't know if it was just a cheat. I need to get a new keyboard because now I've just been typing on the iPad and it's kind of annoying wanting to use it. Yeah, I like having a separate keyboard for sure. Mm Yeah, I like having the full screen as opposed to going up. But yeah. Have you tried turning it off and on again? Berserker shit. That's what I should have tried right (laughs) there. Your iPad? Have you tried turning it on and off again? I should have done that. (laughs) I haven't checked. I just did an update the other day. Like, I guess I should check it like one more time before I. I mean, the case I've been happy with and it came with the keyboard and the keyboard was fine. You showed up just in time. Perfect time as always. Berserker, anytime you're here, 
is the right time, sir. Anytime is the right time. Good to see you. Um, yeah, we're going to do uh, the final podcast of the evening, the final beverage, as it were. Uh, I'm going to make sure I don't turn off our audio this time. I have not. I am perfect. Um, but I will turn off our camera because no one wants to see us. Kidding. There we go. We're back again. That joke's been done twice tonight. Perfect. <laughs> Um, but yeah, we're going to have a uh, beverage this evening. I will give uh, all of you that just happen to show up. Those are all the things that we've had. We've had quite a cornucopia of stuff. We did a we have, uh, uh, red ale from Thomas Hooker Brewery. That's East Coast. East said? Coast, yes. East Coast, West Side. No, uh, East Side. Uh, the Henry Hotspur's Hard Pressed for Cider, uh, which we were not a huge fan of. Right. This is true. Don't recommend that one. Uh, I can relate to mysterious, unsolvable minor tech issues for someone who spends as much time on a computer as I am really bad at it. Yeah, it's just weird. Like, it's one of those things I cannot figure out. Can I have my second handsome pee? Oh, yes. Perfect timing. (laughs) Hell yeah, you can. Uh, Beverage number three is a mouthful, which I'm really looking forward to saying as we start recording. <laughs> That's the one we're about to do. So we did actually, in a little bit of reverse order, we just did the Sauvignon Blanc uh, from Trader Joe's. We're actually about to do the beer one. So that's perfect timing for you being here. Uh, and let's get some Hands and Pete going. Uh, let's just do it this way right here. Free point redemption for uh, Raven. Here we go. She got, uh, Handsome Pete. But see, I don't have that on for because I turned it off because we're about to do a podcast. We don't see it. That's okay. They could see it though, right? No, they couldn't. Oh, well, then you have I to do it again. It off. Well, then you have to do because it Because I had, oh my God, these people. What That's are you a, doing to me? You're getting another one. Okay, you get another one. You get one you get more. A, you get the full Pete, as they yes, say. Yes, the full Pete. That's Handsome Pete. He dances for nickels. Pete. You got some customers. When you get the full Pete, it's actually handsome Peter. (laughs) Dear God, this man. The full Pete. The Peter. (sighs) Yes. All right. So, yeah, you were here with perfect timing, and we were going to try this uh, final beverage of the evening. Say what you (laughs) will, the beverage boys are (laughs) great. The show, well, it would exist without them, but it wouldn't be nearly as fun. It wouldn't be It'd nearly just be as the fun. the two of us. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I can do this alone. I often, I often do. do. So I yes, did in the no, beginning. It's much more fun when we have, uh, have everybody out there listening and, and contributing. We appreciate that for sure. Raven is indeed the queen. Thank you for bringing that up again. I'm glad you remembered that. Thank you for doing that. <laughs> yes. I would have hit it anyway, but that thank you funny. so much. That is absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I, I could just see, can I have my second handsome Pete? <laughs> Please, sir. Please, please, sir. May I have my handsome Pete? May I have another Pete? Can I thank you, (laughs) handsome Pete? Uh, The full Pete. (laughs) Full Pete. That is the full Pete. Oh, my God. Uh, That is going to be a new term. Oh, my God. It was a repeat. (laughs) I did have to do it twice. That's right. (laughs) Jeez. So I was on Twitter the other day, as uh, we are here, uh, like obviously about beverages, full service, all the kind of internet things that you can find, whether it's uh, twitch.tv slash about beverages, whether it's on Twitter, uh, you can find us hanging around. And guess what? I was on Twitter hanging out and saw someone talking about a milkshake IPA and Mm -hmm. asking me specifically if I had had that one. And I said to myself, no, but that sounds interesting. (laughs) And then what happened was a light bulb went off over my head. I don't have a graphic for that. Light you bulb. have a graphic for that. I don't. Oh, we'll have but to switch light... seats. What's that? We'll switch seats. We'll switch seats, yeah. A light bulb went off in my head, and it said, wait a minute, I think I have a milkshake IPA. And I do. And it's from a brewery that I've never had before. You've never had them either. Never had. <laughs> You're a little frightened. Absolutely. I know. It's going to be interesting. I'm building up my courage here. The name of this brewery, uh, and specifically the name of this beer, is a mouthful. And it's a lot of, it's going to be a lot of things for this. Give it a shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And the beverage that we, oh. <laughs> you got it. We are about beverages.com. And yeah. we are about beverages. Hell yeah, we are. And the beverage that we're about today is the strawberry. No, no. <laughs> so, so many things. We'll have to back up here. So many things wrong. Because <laughs> we moved these out of oh, order. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. I remember this the is other, the kind of unedited one. content you get when you join us at twitch.tv slash about beverages on the most Thursday this one. evenings. Well, because number most four is really actually number good. one and the number 
two was actually number one, and then number three was number two, and then and I think I have to go number one. Oh, wait, no. God, wait a minute. No, no, no. Let's not talk about these that. absolute buffoons. Read the cue cards. <laughs> <laughs> We, that is the thing about us. We have no cue cards. We come in prepared and yet unprepared. Prepared, yet, prepared. yet not scripted. Who yes. does number two work for? Oh my God, that literally came up on something the other day. You're still my favorite brother, Blue. Oh my God. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. You're my boy. Don't hang on. Oh. Just another moment in an industry. All we do... Crumbles to, to the, the ground, ground though I refuse to see. Dustin Hoffman. Oh, damn it. Oh, you not Dustin Hoffman. That's good. All we uh, are wait, is what's Dustin What's on second? Hoffman. That's right. I don't know. Okay. Third base. All right. Do we have to start that all over again? No, we can just start with the, you can just do the I'm uh, Keith. Okay. Yeah, that I'm worked Keith. decent enough last time. I think it was good. <laughs> yeah, true. <laughs> all right. Ready? Yes. I, I literally hit the right button right, all right. now. I hope. And I'm Keith, and we are about beverages.com. And the beverage that we're about today is the strawberry milk of the murder hornet milkshake IPA from Hubbard's Cave. I'm going to say brewing or brewery something. The the brewery is Hubbard's yep. Cave, and they are uh, out of the Chicago area, I believe. They are Illinois out of uh, Niles, Illinois. Okay, so, yeah, so somewhere in Illinois. Gross Point Road, to be specific, okay. if you want to just drive down there right now as right we're recording now, this podcast. Which one of our viewers, I think, is close. Yeah, that's true. One of yeah, our viewers is out in there the right Illinois now, area. but yeah. So, yeah, so this is the uh, beer that you had your memory jogged. And to realize that you actually still had this. In That's your correct. I was I had bought it, you know, within the last couple of weeks at our local tap and bottle. It was a new brewery, and I saw it. Like, I was like, "Ooh, it was like milkshake IPA." I'm like, "That could be kind of good." It's it's strawberry, has lactose. It actually adds vanilla, and then obviously uh, this uh, company they've got two different breweries. This one specifically is known for more of the uh, like I said, uh, new style like IPAs, stouts, things of that nature. And all of a sudden, when I saw, it, I was like, "Man, they're adding fruit to it too." I was like. This sounds like a cornucopia of things that we need to try. I'm so, in. Yeah. And I, I, hopefully this is a good representation. It's always kind of, you know, frightening when you try a brand new brewery and right. have not had something from them and you go like this far kind of in left field to some extent. Um, but we are going to, we are going to go for it. And I didn't know murder hornets had milk. <laughs> Cause no one wants to get near them. You don't yeah, find, I, guess. I mean, their teats are real small. That's right. It's not an easy <laughs> thing to milk, but I guess it's they do it just done. a, Milk of the Murder Hornet beer. You they said, do. Right? That is and correct. Not the strawberries. So yeah. This is a different version, even of that. Yes, so. and I do believe, from what I saw, they actually do some other ones too. I think they've got one with like either peaches or other fruits and things yeah. as well. The um, milkshake IPA is a style it, that got popular. I'd say what a couple of years ago. Yeah, definitely within the last yeah two Odell or three years. Odell did one say. and. Um, uh, Belching Beaver Belching did Beaver, one. Yeah, so, they did one, of course. And I'm, sure, I'm sure many others have done them as well. But yeah, it was just it's adding lactose to make it more creamy and sweet uh, and sweet. So and uh, and milkshake in style. So. Yeah, and this one is actually added vanilla on top of that and actual strawberries, as you can tell from the beer. Like I said, this is cloudy because it's a hazy IPA. Right. But it is also uh, you can tell there's there was some strawberries in here at one point. I don't yes. know if they use a strawberry puree or something like that. Uh, if anyone knows more a little bit about the process or even Hubbard's Cave, if they happen to come in here, you can leave a comment below. Give us some information. Let us know what's going on. I can actually already smell it from right here. I thought here. I was already get, getting a little whiff of a whiff a, of the berry. There is a waft of the berry yes. coming to my nose right here. Let's let's get more That's of a waft. orangey red there. Yeah. Yeah. That smells like a scratch and sniff book when I was a kid. Like one of those ones where you just like, I remember like reading books with uh, my mom or something like that, where it was like little bunny follows his nose and you'd scratch on it. And be like, be like, Oh, it's, that's a strawberry feel. Like that's exactly what it smells like. There's like, yeah, there's strawberry, there's sweet. That smells. That's what they were going for. They, they did it. <laughs> They've achieved it. There's a, there's a, um, that it's a really sweet, good. a strawberry sweetness to it. Not yeah. like a creamy. No, it's a little more toward, uh, what is it? The, uh, the like the candies, the strawberry uh, with the with the jelly filling on the inside. Yeah, that you get from with the Hickory Farms. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like those said, kinda not Pepperidge Farms. They remember, but Hickory Farms. <laughs> Pepperidge Farms remember. Yeah, it's it's that kind of Hickory Farms kind of smell it, but that's it smells really good. So far. <laughs> yeah. There's a little hint of actually, we're gonna go even another deep reference here. Uh oh. It's kind of like at the end of a bowl of Fruit Loops. <laughs> You've got the milky, like you're just smelling like the sweet and like just that mixture of all those fruit things together. Which, I would think they'd be happy with that. Yeah. That's what they're going for. That kind of milk shake sort of thing. So, yeah. yeah. 
Okay. No, this is this is good. Oh my god, they should make a milkshake with like a vanilla milkshake, and then you actually put like Fruit Loops in it to get that. Like there was there's a place here in town that has done stuff like that. There's a um, Zinberger. Uh, here in town, oh, okay. they have like different milkshakes at the local place here in Southern Arizona. And they do one, I think it was uh, with Captain Crunch. It was like peanut butter Captain Crunch and they would put that as part of the topping and then that blend it good. in. Yeah, so sorry. Sounds Lots good. of tangents there. That. All right. I, I don't, I hope the flavor can live up to this. We're not going right into <laughs> into discussion. I have some thoughts, but I wasn't sure if you were quite ready it. or not. He did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, he's done it. He's done it. He's really done it. <clears throat> I forgot what the eight, eight and a half. Eight and a half percent. Oh wow, Imperial. Yeah. It's a strawberry imperial milk of the murder hornet. I, oh. I should have made you say all those things. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is the other song by Aha right here. Don't waste, waste it, it on, on me. me. <laughs> Don't waste it on me. Ever since you guys first mentioned Trader Joe's, I can't get those little mini peanut butter cups out of my head. Oh my God. The, the little mini peanut. Little we have mini. dark chocolate ones too. We have dark chocolate, but we don't carry have them in the mini. But yeah, we've got the mini. The dark chocolate so ones. We'll so put good. those on a little ice cream. Yep, they'll probably go on your peanut butter milkshake. Oh shit! So if you want to do Maybe that, whenever we do that, then we'll I'll get those. Together. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Yes. Oh my god, that would be fantastic. Cool. I appreciate it. Uh, is that? I appreciate that. What did you see? What's yeah? Okay. Are we just continuing then? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. You ready? Yep. Okay. I'm going to say I like the aroma a lot better. I think the flavor, as weird as it sounds, because it is a beer, it's bringing almost a little too much beer to the party. Does that sound kind of strange? like I'm getting yeah. some? Of, I'm getting some of the strawberry, but then it's not quite as sweet as I thought it was going to be. Right, like it's kind of bringing a little bit more of that uh, into it. Right, and uh, like it's it's kind of missing a little. Like I thought it was going to be much more creamy and 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 body right. and other flavors. It's definitely sweet because I'm definitely getting that residual uh, left behind. Um, okay. And it's it's a sweet strawberry, like that's something that's been sweetened as opposed to just like natural. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's like been enhanced, I guess. Okay. Um, and I think the the problem I think I've and and this is I think coming through with this is when with the milkshake IPAs, I get milkshake in my head, and I think of mm. thick and creamy, and I think of an actual dessert like milkshake kind of stuff. And so sometimes then that distracts me from it actually. Okay, it's a beer. It's not a milkshake. And so sometimes that then plays in my head a little bit. But um, yeah, it's, it's, I would agree. Like I said, it's got, it's got, it definitely, like I said, has pretty good flavor. I'm interested to try other things from this brewery. Right. Uh, Like, you know, that's what I always want to say is, is a little bit of a caveat. Like there's nothing in here that's, that's like off. Right. But it's, it seems like, I think the aroma was so fantastic and I was so excited by the different levels that were in there. Uh, in the taste, it has those, but it kind of then goes like, for some reason, there's it's it's muted in some way. I don't know exactly yeah, how it's, to describe it. Well, I think it needs more of the lactose, I think. Maybe. It probably needs yeah. something to, to make it a little creamier, maybe make it a little yeah. hazier, maybe give it a little more body even. Mm. Um, I, I think it's a little thin for that to, to, to go with the whole milkshake image, I guess. But yeah, I would agree. Once again, it's an IPA. So, yeah, um, yeah there's nothing necessarily at fault there. There's just not maybe quite as cohesive, and, and I think the aroma 
probably promised a little bit more than the flavor is delivering. So I would completely agree. But if you are interested in finding out uh, other things where maybe we don't agree on, which does not happen too often, no, but happened. there are some there, they would be in the archives at aboutbeverages.com. For over a decade, we have been doing uh, not only podcasts, but videos, articles, uh, recipes of all kinds. Uh, definitely go check that out. If you want to uh, find out just the latest videos, definitely subscribe on YouTube. That is a wonderful place. Uh, if you want the latest things, as I said, and uh, you will get uh, notifications when the new stuff goes up, which is now actually a couple times a week, we are putting up some brand new things. Uh, if you uh, only want audio, which I get, I understand there's only so much uh, you can look at these two guys right here. I, I get it. Especially maybe, with all that content on YouTube now. Exactly. Or if you're on the go, uh, obviously Google Podcasts, uh, Spotify, you know, uh, Apple Podcasts. Uh, if there is a podcast service that you listen to, just search for About Beverages and you will find it there. True. Uh, are we anywhere else? Well, we're on the three pillars. Oh, damn, we are. That's right. Oh, of course. The three pillars of social media being Facebook, Instagram, and the one we use most often, by far, Twitter. Twitter. Uh, yes, I've heard of Twitter. Uh, yes. Uh, we'll let you know when we're going to go live most Thursday evenings on twitch.tv slash About Beverages. That's when we record uh, the podcast. That's when we hang out for a couple of hours and... Try some different things, interact with everybody who's in chat, uh, talk about things, beverage, of course, but also things besides that. Uh, also, throughout the week, Andrew's going to let you know what he's going to be doing as far as gaming. That's true. Uh, he'll keep you updated there. Um, so, yeah, follow us on, uh, on Twitter and you will know what's going on in the About Beverages world. But as we always say, whether we like it or not, you should give it a shot. And that is a podcast. Like Sorry about Hornet. that. We were in the middle of recording a podcast <laughs> when you popped in. How is it going? Uh, this is not from Trader Joe's. Uh, this is not a. This one is not a cider. We did a cider earlier from Trader Joe's. The cider was Trader Joe's. Yeah, the yes. cider was Trader Joe's. The wine we yep. did was Trader Joe's. This one is specifically. Uh, it is a brewery out of uh, Illinois, uh, and it was. Uh, yeah, as you can see, a very long name though. The milk of the murder. Horn the strawberry milk of the murder hornet milkshake IPA from Hubbard's Cave Brewery. And we could even say Imperial IPA if we wanted. That's to. true. It is they eight could, and a half percent, but. That is that definitely too, and, uh, and thank you for the raid as well. I appreciate it. That is super nice. Thank you, thank you very much. Uh, but yeah, that was uh, that is what we've got going on right there. Yeah, the aroma is is better than the taste. Okay, I think that's what kind of what you were saying too. Yeah, right? like I said, the aroma had me really excited because it was a blend of all those things I was looking for. It was like I said, the smell was good. The strawberry came through. Uh, like I said, those different kinds of, you know, things that took me back to different memories. I was like, okay, this is gonna be really yeah. good. And then it's like, it felt, it felt a little bit like they layered that some of those flavors on top of just kind of an average beer. I don't know. Is mine a little more cloudy than yours yeah, at this moment? Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, it totally is. I've noticed that though. Like, like the, yeah, limited... cause the aroma to me is still great. Like I would like this in a candle. I yeah. would like this in a, uh, you know, lots of hugs bear. Something like that, some sort of <laughs> the uh I noticed that even like with um like the limited visibility that hazy IPA from Mother Road. At first if you just pour it and because my the glass doesn't hold the whole sixteen ounces. Sure. So but then if you like swirl it around and pour the rest, then it's like, oh, now it's hazy. Mm. It's almost like you need to shake that can. No, but you shouldn't. Yeah, that could be, be I mean that definitely could be like pour a little bit and then kind of swirl it around right. and try and pour as much as you can. Right. That might get a little bit more blended, but yeah, it needs a. I think for the milkshake part, I think it needs a little more body. And then I agreed with you, like I said, yeah, a little more lactose, a little more sweetness in there. Yeah, because that's kind of what it was missing once I actually went to the taste. Was it was just kind of. And I wish there was a term. I did. A, create one. A term that didn't create because to me, milkshake just is a certain thing to me. I think and milkshake it can't be a beer, and I know what they're going for, but it's just right. It, it's just sometimes it's a little, I have to just get over that. Okay, what are you it's, expecting? Like what throws you? Like for me, like when I see that, I just assume then like what they do vanilla and lactose. So I'm like, okay, it's gonna be sweeter, right? But then I think there should be a little more body. There, more which body, did not. Yeah, right. So I think that is then. Yeah, yeah. I think that is a little bit of an issue. But then I just want a chocolate shake, which is my favorite. I do, yeah. Or this chocolate it. peanut butter. What or is your favorite? Do, like, one? do you have like what is your favorite? Like, if you're have your druthers, as they say. Like, do you have a favorite dessert or like something that you? I. It's hard to it's hard to beat ice cream. Especially yeah. I do love. Well, I love many types of ice cream, but uh, cheesecake. Or your chocolate pie. Oh, that's kind of you to say. Yeah. Oh. Family chocolate pie. We'll say that. Family, the yeah. family chocolate. The family pie. recipe chocolate pie. Yeah, it's hard to believe. And just cheesecake. I mean, yeah. I, I do love. 
Tempura bananas? Okay. Ooh. What do you put with that? Because I'm assuming you're like battering those and then what kind of like, you put like some sort of salt. Like I could see that like a little caramel sauce or something maybe or some whipped cream or like what else are you doing with that? Maybe some chocolate syrup. Yeah, could be a little chocolate syrup maybe. Or some sort of... uh... We yeah, Debo. I, Where's Debo? Ice cream. Yeah, I know. Debo should be like kicking in on all this. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh making me want to make a late <laughs> a yeah. little milkshake. Yeah, I hear you. Well, alcoholic milkshake, like I said, we we're gonna probably do that in the next few weeks. We've been I've put it off long enough. We're gonna do some sort of peanut butter chocolate boozy milkshake. Uh we'll have to get that done. We'll do a little taste test on the I think it's the screwball peanut butter whiskey, seems to be the popular one. We'll do a little quick shot of that taste that and then uh dive right into probably where it needs to go which is a peanut butter, like a chocolate shake whipped cream and chocolate syrup okay all right well then you have the call on that one yeah it's hard to beat like I'm trying to think like what my go-to like some sort like actually you know what i really like is uh like a chocolate lava cake those mm-hmm. are good like yeah. when you bite into that and it's just got like and if you've got some different there's a, a dessert i just got a new brew from flying embers you guys have ever had anything? have we had anything from flying embers that familiar? so many breweries in this in this well world but especially this country flying embers if you're ever in flagstaff uh karma sushi makes some great tempura bananas oh there you go okay Yes, I'm 20. Karma, I, I think that might be where what my son likes going there, actually. Oh, really? I think that's that sounds it's familiar. It's like Karma Chameleon place. Karma, 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 oh, Karma. Oh, Flying Chameleon. Embers. They make hard kombucha, seltzer, and some other things, too. <laughs> go I go way, way too often. often. <laughs> That's funny, LG, because yeah, you uh, are, go to NAU. I almost wore an, N- well, no, I wanted to wear an NAU shirt tonight, but it was in the laundry. You wear that one like every two or three days. No, it's the light blue one. Oh, okay. The light blue, not the dark blue. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. There's the beers. Imperial Highway chocolate. <laughs> nice. I got mine on. Nice. <laughs> Apparently, it's it's got nootropics, probiotics, a chocolate reishi stout. Oh, I see it right here. Son of a gun. You just said it. Adaptopogenic beer powered by mushrooms. The decadent flavor is created by combining the chocolatey goodness of cow, uh, of chocolate uh, with the mushrooms of immortality. Reishi pays tribute to the classic Irish stout with a superfood twist. Wow. Oh my God, no, that okay. sounds super, and it's organic. <laughs> Instagram ads got you again. This actually is very interesting. Huh. Do they ship? Spend $55 or more to unlock free shipping. No. Oh, it looks like them. they may ship. I'm going to keep this tab open. I may have to look at that. That is super interesting. Huh. I shipped it to Ohio. Okay. Superfood. Have you had that one? Have you drank it yet? That's actually a good question. Have you opened it? Have you sipped it? Whatever. Because that is an interesting like tie-in of many different things. Um, but yeah, there's actually like, it, it goes back to like, unfortunately like I said Fleming's again, which I haven't had in a while, <laughs> but they do it. They do opening a ch- it Saturday. What about Thursday? Like now, <laughs> <laughs> um, they do a, uh, they, so they do a chocolate lava cake and then they have a pistachio ice cream that goes with it. And then there's like this little wafer cookie. Oh my God. And then they have this like hand whipped, like whipped cream that goes with it. Oh my God. Like when you get the bite of all of those things, you put, <laughs> it's so good it's so ridiculous but yeah i would say that's probably one of my favorite desserts so like i said i do actually like my chocolate pie it's pretty good too oh that's, yeah that's a good one but like if you're talking candy i think i have to go reese's peanut butter cup that is literally probably yeah the peanut butter cup reese's peanut butter Can't cup beat crack- unfortunately my 4 a.m work alarm won't like me cracking beer. <laughs> i get yeah, you oh wow and i depending get you. on where you are 4 especially a.m. especially ohio yeah that's uh <laughs> that would probably be a little bit late what if you cracked it open, just smelled it, let me know what the smell is like, and then just put it back in the fridge? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't do Don't that. Do Don't that. waste it. Don't waste but it. But I demand that you put a review in the Discord, because I'm going to save this link, actually, right now. Can I go back one? <laughs> That's right, because in Flagstaff, you don't have a Trader you. Joe's. Is there no Trader Joe's in Flagstaff? No Trader really? Joe's in Flagstaff. Uh, you have to go to Prescott. Prescott. Prescott's the closest one to f- folks in the Flagstaff area. Sullivan's, yeah, Sullivan's. I don't. I've never actually been to or Sullivan's. Sprouts. There you go. Yeah, Sprouts. Uh, there's Whole Foods up there too, and uh, Natural Grocers too. How later they open. All right, I have actually bookmarked the website for this stout, Berserker. I 
expect a review of it this weekend. You need to give me information if it's worth probiotic us, uh, beer. If you is worth us actually trying it and checking it out. Two carbs, ninety five calories, four and a half percent. Is this a beer? Two carbs, please. What's the alcohol in this? Four and a half percent. Yes, I understand. Yeah, I don't want to. <laughs> you, you can spend your money more wisely by not going to Whole Foods for sure. What do they call the Whole Foods? What's the nickname for that? Whole Paycheck. There you go. <laughs> oh, wait. Maybe they don't ship here. Maybe it must be a home at the time of delivery and provide garment ID. Currently shipping in California, Aww. Montana, New Hampshire, Nevada. Oh, okay. we can't get it here. Okay, you need to tell me it's good. And if you like it, then you need to ship me a can. <laughs> Chocolate ratio. That is so interesting. Flying embers. I wonder if any, I like, that seems like they have so many products that like you would think Total Wine would have that. Yeah, you would think Whole so. Whole paycheck. Yeah, there you go. Whole paycheck. Exactly. Right, let's see. No. So waiting on my IY to get here as okay. well. It was supposed to come today and also didn't show up. Yeah, he actually uh, ordered a bottle of it after we talked the about tradition? it. Last yeah, yeah, the tradition? Yeah, the IY tradition. That was good. Yeah, I actually had uh, my wife tried some of that the next day. I told her about it, and, and she's not a huge, like, as much of a scotch person. Right. But, and I was, like, I was like, well, there's a little smoke in there. It's not quite the same thing, but there is some of that because um, there is a local distiller here named... Uh... Hamilton or um, no nope. Del Bach. Thank no, you. Whiskey uh, Del Bach, no, Del Bach yeah. is the, yeah, their mesquite. So that right. one, like I said, she's had that one has not liked it. The Dorado. The same, yeah, yeah. Like the Dorado and stuff. Um, but she had a little bit of that and she's like, Oh my God, it was delicious. Like she loved it. Oh, like, she thought it was delicious. And I was like, oh, good thanks. purchase then. Yeah. It was definitely a good purchase. Uh, let's see. What was I searching for? Uh, what was the name of it? <laughs> I've already forgotten. Flying embers. Yes. Okay. See. Yes. All right. Looks seltzer. like we can get some of these things. We've got seltzers. Not the beer though. Oh, it doesn't look like we can get the beer though. Seltzer variety, sweet and heat hard, sweet and heat hard seltzer. Sweet, sweet heat. Black cherry lime hard seltzer kombucha. Okay, so it looks like they have a lot of the seltzers, but not the beer stuff, at least locally. I'll look around for that, though. That sounds very interesting. I still have it bookmarked. That sounds very, very interesting. Hmm. So what are we thinking of uh, for next week? Do you want to look for one of those other wines that you were talking about? We like can do, do wanna, another. You were talking about that yeah. shard, maybe? Or you wanna, is that one yeah, actually can, available or no? Yeah, I, 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 it was on the shelf today. So okay. I should be able to get that. We could do that. Um, we ha may have some active lifestyle beers to open with. That's right. We want to try that, so we could do no, that. No, we definitely should try that. Okay. We, we, what was that one exactly? He, I don't know exactly. I'll let you know. <laughs> Something was left on my... Uh... You meant Fleming's? Oh, okay. I wasn't sure. I feel like I unlocked an achievement <laughs> inspiring the beverage. <laughs> you have inspired. Uh -huh. It's very inspiring. I love hearing, like I said, Only your for thoughts today, berserker, you for sure. Because <laughs> you have to go to bed, because you're getting up early in the morning. That's true. Yeah, don't so, peek too far. Yeah. Don't, I peek too much. You'll peek again tomorrow. What is this one? Oh, they do have one beer, Flying Embers Lemon. Citrus Ford, a sun with lavender, mint, and ginger brewed with live probiotics. Okay, so they do have something like that here locally, but it's the lemon. It's not the stout. I may still have to look for that because that's interesting because they're putting probiotics and other. I don't well, know. We've had kombucha beers and stuff like that. That's so. true. What was the one that we had that we actually liked? It was with Eric that we had the, that one. That There's the, the Unity. We've had. Yeah, we've had. Was it the Unity things. Good Vibrations, I think? Yeah. Yeah, that one was uh, interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if the so I've got black and whiskey on order. I don't right. know when that'll be here. If that for some reason is here by next week, we would obviously do that. That's a a new one. Like obviously we've well, done black and whiskey before, but it is a. Uh, I'll bring one of the. I've had it already, but I'll bring one of those strawberry lemon uh, apple cider vinegar sparkling. Oh, okay. We can either podcast on it or open with it. So either. Well, one. you've had it, so is it podcast worthy? Or I is think it so. A, okay. I think you might. Well, It'll be something different. Podcast. It'll be something okay. that's not alcohol. So. 
I totally forgot that hard kombucha is a thing. Have you guys podcasted those? We have done a couple of them, not a lot in the history. Like I said, I would have to look back. Uh, like I said, the Unity Good Vibrations one we have had. Have we had some other hard kombuchas? Or I mean, I know I've drank mm. some outside of podcasting, uh, but I'm not sure how many we did. Black and kind of broke your heart, to be honest. I, the, I, the ones I have had have been good. They've not been like... I don't think they have been like top tier, but especially for branded whiskeys, uh, I think they did a pretty good job. And I liked, I had batch, I think 88 and 89 were the two that I had. The one that I ordered uh, is, is just come out. They, so they have a new, obviously uh, Dave Pickerel has passed away like a year, more than a year ago. I can't remember. Yeah, around the time we did it, I think. Yeah. So he's <clears> passed <throat> away. So they have a new, uh, they have a new person now that's kind of running uh, the show. When it comes to that stuff, he's got, you know, pretty good chops when it comes to other whiskey things. Uh, but the one, his first like major release, it's actually a, uh, had one of their earlier batches to be fair. I mean, it should still be good. It should still be quality. So that's unfortunate that like I said, that you had a bad experiences. Um, we will see the one I ordered is a, it's cask strength. So it's 112, almost 113 proof. And that was like the big kind of deal they were making today. And it's, you know, obviously they do different playlists for everything. Uh, so hopefully, uh, when we try that one, we'll try it, uh, cask strength. Maybe we'll add a little bit of water too, to see what that comparison is like. But whenever that comes in, I, I did make an impulse buy. So that is on its way. So that's one we'll have at some point. Some peanut butter, whiskey, chocolate milkshakes. I don't know if that'll happen in the next week, yeah, but it's on, it's out there. Yeah, it is. It is it's on the horizon. <laughs> as they say it's yes. out there somewhere. Yes. Are we, uh, are we rating I'm gonna, Yeah, I'm going to see. Let's see uh, See who's hanging out, see who's uh, what's going on here as we uh, chat at the last bit. I'm trying to think if there's anybody, anything else that we want to... I wouldn't even necessarily say it was bad, just a super sharp bite, not as dynamic as I would like. So now, especially, I think this one is, is different. This one is actually a blend of... So all of the whiskeys in there, I, or at least the average, is eight plus years uh, when it comes to the aging, which I th which is definitely above what the normal uh, blackened whiskeys are. And then on top of that, I think it's a mixture of uh, whiskey and rye whiskey, which usually I think the previous blackens because of Dave Pickerel and all, like I said, his affiliation with Whistlepig, most of those were straight up rye, which definitely can be more toward the spicy and have that kind of bite. Hmm. So maybe that might be what you wouldn't like about the previous ones. Or you may just not like it. Like I said, it definitely yeah. wasn't like the, sure. my favorite thing I've ever had, but I was impressed because a lot of times those branded things are just kind of like, eh, you know, like you're just kind of like, eh, it's okay. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that is the, uh, that is definitely the story of things we've got coming up in the near future. Looks like you've selected someone. I have. For us to descend upon. I have. We're going to descend upon <clears throat> somebody else here. I appreciate everybody coming in. We Thank do. you. Thank you so much. Yes, thank you very nice. much. All all the suggestions, all the chat, letting us know when we're muted. We <laughs> yeah, appreciate oh my that. God. Yeah, definitely. Uh, the beverage oh suggestions, God. everything. Thank you for, for being here. We do very much appreciate your time. Yeah, yeah, very much. We'll be back again <laughs> next week together. We'll be back again next Thursday, usual time, 5.30 Pacific, 8.30 You'll Eastern. You'll probably be here tomorrow. I will be here tomorrow, probably playing some Destiny, as I always do, uh, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 o'clock Eastern. We'll be hanging out and doing, getting some things done, maybe doing some trials. Who knows? Uh, but, yeah, we're going to go raid uh, Zaku, who's always hanging out here, Has a, is the person that is slowly saving up for the Keith Flex and the channel points. <laughs> we're going to go say hi to him. He is uh, playing some Destiny right now. Looks like he's doing some Prophecy Dungeon. Go say hi to him. At night, all. Have a good rest of your night, evening, everybody. everybody. Thank you guys for Thank coming. Thank you very in. much. We will see, we'll, we'll see you next week. See him tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Go say hi to Zaku. Do it. <laughs>